Um, it's also just Santos rebranded. Yeah, basically. Except they're not good at ranged anymore, so they're not quite the same. Uh, Armator Shapeshifter. So I start with unarmed, which is fair enough. I might just get a bit of fighting, though. I don't think the dodging is going to help me much. Let's just get, like, five unarmed. Actually, if I'm doing unarmed, I should get the unarmed at the same time. It's quite important to get. Um, Because you really don't do any damage if you don't have the unarmed. Hold on, the jabs for Lens might be alright. I probably won't really trade much skill on them because I won't be able to throw them in most forms. Unless I just end up with like another statue form character, but hopefully I find some more interesting forms this time round. I mean, I don't mind if I go through statue form to try and get, um, electric form or whatever it's called. But I know a lot of characters kind of end up stuck on the statue form because it's actually pretty good. Mainly because you can actually use a shield with it, which makes it sometimes a little bit harder to swap to other forms without a shield. And I also get the magic regen when I rampage on things, but it eventually becomes uh, health and magic regen at like 7th level, I think. Um, I'm just gonna get strength. Punch people harder. Yeah, punching for 8 damage now, which isn't that much, but it'll go up. I don't know if I really need this magic regen, it's not like I've got the got any spirit guardian or anything. Hey, maybe if I get some vines electric charge or something later on, I'll be able to use it. Uh, resist poison ring with some resist corrosion and see invisible? Yes, please. A ring of starshine. I mean, it does rain when you take it off, which is not that big a deal. You can work that on and off. But I probably won't be taking that off for quite some time. Although a lot of the forms are like poison resist, so maybe I'll take it off eventually. A segment. He's got a size of holy wrath this time round. I might just leave him be. He's quite bad. Especially when you don't have willpower, you just get confused by him. Oh, plus four chainmail. I've got, I've got four armor class, eight evasion. Oh yeah, I only lost like three evasion. I'm up to eleven armor class. So I guess fire resist as well. So like, pretty decent. Okay, dimensional bullseye. Mystic Blast, two Kiva's Dance, Confusing Touch, Vampiric Draining Slow. No, I don't think I'll be getting any of those. Um. If I, I, if I keep on going with this character long enough, I might pick up, like, a, um, Manifold Assault, maybe, depending how long I want to keep on playing this character. Alright. I should bring these guys back to the staircase. There's a long way away, but like, I really do need to fight these gnolls one at a time. I mean, one of them probably hasn't followed, but that's uh, that's all good. It does. Uh, I'll just try to split them up anyway, right? Am I big enough to go in shallow water without a penalty? I think I am. Yeah, it looks like it. I'll check out the Faded Altar. I didn't have any specific gods in mind. There's a Shining One, Bjorg, and Nevalex. Uh... I don't know. That's alright. Okawari, Ashen, Zari, Wujin. I mean, that's probably pretty good. Let's give it a try. Wujin? I mean, it's the same as what I had last time, but whatever. <laughs> I'll still go with Wujin. They are quite good with the whole uh, shape-shifted characters when you're doing decent damage. And you can do the whirlwind attacks and stuff. Presuming I ever get a decent form, I mean, at the moment. Oh, wait, I don't have the... Or oh, do I have the... I do have the whirlwind attacks because I got it off of Faded Order, so I have more piety. Yeah. I gotta run up, I think. Otherwise, um, the imp's gonna move out the front. Alright, two uh, Natasha's down. I usually end up missing, like, the last Natasha, because she's just so, um, evasive when she just reappears on another part of the level. Ooh. Ooga. Ooh, I should read some of these scrolls. Um, I think the right thing to do is just head to the staircase, go up. Oh. And then read some of my scrolls, because this one's probably identify. Alright, so we've got a... 
Potion of Curing. Potion of Degen. Potion of Might. Might is good. Oh, Chanda, I might have to use that. Teleport, which is good. Blinking is excellent. Um, I'll see what I can enchant. Oh, not much. Okay. <laughs> right, because I got like the beast talisman on it anyway. That's the start of some of the book. Okay. Um. Oh, Spirit Gun is actually useful because I have the whole magic region thing and stuff. Oh, I guess I can find the ogre now. I guess I know what some of my, qu uh, some of my potions are. If I need to blink back or something, I can at least do that. Three blinky, yeah, three blinky is a really good start. Hopefully I remember to actually use them when I need to, because that can sometimes be a problem with me, trying to hoard my blinking when I should actually just be using it. Alright, well, let's get the unarmed to 10. Let's get the fighting to 10. And then I'll probably think about getting more shape-shifting, maybe. Although, to be fair, the Flux Talisman doesn't make a lot of sense when I'm wearing armor. Can I deal with Edmund? Uh, I might just identify the potion as Potion Magic. I got a lignification, I got a might. I might just try and fight him. Yeah, there we go, he's no problems. Now I begin to get health while rolling towards things. Excellent. Okay, so lots of faded all this time round. Now it's like Bjorg, Neblex, Sif Mana, Fantas, Okumaru, Dismanos. Yeah, they're everywhere. Ooh, rushing water. Well, now that we've determined that I can go in the water without any penalties, I gotta find this rushing water. Um, I think magic or revelations was one of the scrolls that I managed to identify. It's very distant, okay. Other side of the map, I guess. Um, I'll peek the temple, but I don't really need it. Oh yeah, just a general temple. I'll go from one blind door to another to the power move. It'd be really funny though if you got the same god. I really want to know what happens if you get the god that you already worship off a faded altar while. Yeah, it doesn't like see what happens because. Would they mind? Or would they not mind? I mean, you're still kind of like abandoning them, I guess. Let's go down the drain. Let's go Curari, which is good, probably. Because I got the poison for this, so it shouldn't do too much damage. And now it's my Curaris. Oh, whoops. I thought the side was explored for some reason, so I just decided to retreat back into it, but obviously that was a bit of a silly idea. This guy's already got a poison dart for me, but unfortunately no more curari, but it looks like I'm pretty much done with this place. Oh, no, there's, uh, no, actually there's still uh, quite a few more prongs, this one. Yeah, it's kind of like on endless little bits to explore. So I know some of the, um... So it's so have a lot of areas to explore, especially the ones with Pajit in them. Don't need the dagger, don't need the pot dust, let's get out of there. It's certainly worth going in, especially for the Curari dance. Oh, heal wounds potions. Is it no, it's not the arm tools to get done with potion effects anymore. Now they just get the, like the roll healing. Uh that was given away to the Oni, I think, the double potion healing. Oh, this portable pile driver, teleport on lesser beckoning. Might be a less beckoning some people, maybe. Who knows? I still haven't tried like the buffed pile driver. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe this will be the character to get that one. Who knows? Definitely not in a hurry to get it though. All right, what have we got? We got a pair of boots I can't wear. Dancing robes I don't care about. Some plain armor. Ah, oh, yeah. I think that good play that was like glowing or something. Is that fine just to fight all these guys? They all have pole ups, so running away would be taking a lot of attacks from a duty. It was fine to fight them all. A weapon shop for a. Oh, the smoking broad eggs. Smoking mace, pitted mace, slimy halberd. 
I mean, if you're an axe, uh, axe character, I think that broad axe could be pretty good. But I'm uh, all about punching. Man, a punch for 15 damage is definitely going up the punching damage I'm doing. So it makes sense because I'm training literally just the skills to bring that up in damage. Most dangerous friends. Geometry, Book of Storms. This is the one that used to have, like, Storm form in it, I think. No, it doesn't. It never did. It was a different one. Can't remember what it was called. Oh, that used to have Storm form in it. Oh, Jail's Grobot is pretty good from what you've tried. Even with low power, you can still use it to, uh, like, a scarf controlled link. Right, because you get to push everyone in one direction, which can be good for getting to staircases. Um, might be able to grab that one at some stage. Oh, just move up. I've got fire resist. Ah, Steam Dragon Armor. More Steam Dragon Armor, alright. I mean, I've got the armor giving me two fire resist. I'd rather have that. Here's that me retreat back a bit. Butterflies. Alright, there we go. Jeremiah is very dead. I'll just get more strength, of course. Punch for 17 damage. Oh, this, uh, this blink. I can't get any of the spells going until I get something that melts my armor. Uh, speaking of something that melts my armor, there's this granite talisman here. Um, you know what? I might have saved up for that. Uh, 900 gold? Yeah, it shouldn't take too long, I guess. Should probably get to about the right point, like the point where I can actually think about putting that one on. Because I'll get all these skills to like 15 or something, and then I'll think about putting it on. Maybe get a little bit of uh, one skill. I don't even have much of the way of ones, so not yet. Oh, it's very funny how there's all those uh, crippled dudes around the Rue altar. It's like, hey, want to make some sacrifices? Getting a bit of deja vu? Sure, sure are. No, this runs kind of wasn't meant to be this much of a repeat in the last one. But I mean, I started with a rampage anyway. There used to be necrophages around here. I missed the necrophages. Why were they removed? I was Okawari, which would have been a, uh, another choice as God. Oh, do I get a shield? I mean... Maybe at some stage. Might try to get the statue form first, though, I think. Got the poison resist, right? So I can just... Oh! Can't just punch that guy. That's a terrible plan. Uh, might teleport out. <laughs> Because I can't do any of my, like, Wujian and stuff and slash or else in that corridor either. There we go. It's got seven lightning spires, something. Static discharge and airstrike, alright. Find it kind of funny seeing, like, a... I guess that was a null sergeant of Buddha or something, with, like, a full-on arbalist. Wait, was I had like a little uh, demon guy, like a little shadow demon that just came out with an obelisk? <laughs> it looked really funny. Uh, I think Surface Slash is the right thing to do. Not to escape, but to do damage. Ooh. I should have thrown a Curari at this dude. Oh. How did I miss? 70 something percent? Okay. I think I'm better off retreating and just letting it die. There we go. Yeah, that was not the right way to find that guy. I should have maybe started with a Curari. Uh, guys are running around with like a sword. But it's a sad door. So it probably doesn't really get much benefit from having the sword. I got Yara's passenger Galabria. Sure. I mean, Yara is if I get, like, Lich form or something, but I don't know if this character will. We'll see if I find it or not. I think it's got a shield, but I think it's also oh, a protection one. Well, that's, um... Almost tempting, but I've got point eight attack delay. I'll see what it's like with this one on. Wait, point nine? That barely made any difference. Okay, I'm, well, I might just get, like, five shield skill now. Um... Kind of surprised at that. I mean, and I guess it's rounded, so who knows how much difference that actually made after rounding, but it's still nowhere near as bad as I thought. I guess because I got lots of strats. Ooh, ow. Okay, this is fine. Uh... 
Oof. That's tough to slash up to this guy, but I'm a bit worried about how much damage it's done to me. Oh, that's a lot. I'm gonna healing potion up, but had a big axe as well. So I mean the um rage weapon was the only thing it had. Yeah, I'll try blast it with some ice. Oof. The guy that's literally massacring me. Um I think I'm actually gonna start a teleport because I'm dying here. Oh, I might have actually been I killed it. Never mind. Um Got some regen of magic regen at least going when I'm rolling there. Keeps me alive. Um This is just like Andrew's bolts on this level. Alright, let's get the fighting to 15. Get the unarmed to 15. Might get the shields to 10. And then I'll try getting the chat statue form going. How far am I from that place I need to go to anyway? Oh, Scroll of Fog's looking to help me find it. Very distant. Right. I don't care about the mortality thing because unfortunately I'm wearing the body armor. And that's for something that's really good on Draconians, though, because they don't wear the body armor. But hey, I fear the Draconian. I'm still very distant, so we're probably up the top of the map. That's a lair entrance, I think. So he's got to pull these guys back to here. I should have started with a Kiorari on this guy. Ooh. All right. All right, this time round, I'll start with the Kiorari. Didn't even hurt me that time round. All right. Did that, that didn't let me know how far I need to go, did it? Got the positive energy, of course. Also did it. Very nearby. I wonder if I can just go up this way. Um... No, heading into this corner doesn't seem to have gone the right way. Yeah, it's very distant. Well, that gives me an idea of where it is. It's really near the lair entrance by the looks of things. Hey, it's right there. Okay, it's quick crackling, so I'm basically out of time. But I can drop my... uh keep the gloves, actually. I can drop a couple of items and head on in. I don't swim, so hopefully it's not one of the ones where I need to be able to swim or fly or something, because I don't think I've found a flight either. Ooh, that's a lot of dudes. But Rampage you get today got me like six regen or something, so it wasn't too bad. I got a ton of consumables here, that's not too bad. Oh, I think I know which type of uh, level this is. It's one of the ones with like all the really tough guys in the center. Alright, well if I just run it like in, like this, I got some regen at least to get me through all these guys. Okay, so how do I deal with the, like, the old uh, warlord in the center? Notice me. I was hoping I could pull out some of these guys, not all of them, but that's fine. I might have to use like a teleport scroll or something. Um, I might get a. Could also do like shenanigans with serpent slash and stuff. Like if I need to get back from this guy, like it turns out to be too tough for me or something. Also, I should probably curare it. Oh, if I can. Oh, I failed. And I'm running low on the Kirari because of that failure. All right. Hey, there we go. That's my acquirement scroll, which is what I came here for. So it's offering me a staff, a bard, no, an amulet of bard song. I thought it was a barding, not bard song. Okay, so it's an amulet of regen with some mental it. Um, I'm actually quite liking my Spirit Guardian because I got the whole magic regen, but I mean, that's not a bad amulet. But I think I might go with the unarmed manual, actually, to be perfectly honest, because I mean, I need unarmed skills, so. Get out of here, right? Nothing massively useful on the ground, so yeah, let's just get out of there.
Uh... I don't know, I'll dodge level 10, so I'll do one more level of dodge, and I guess I go to the lab, that's probably about right. And that was, in fact, the entrance to the lab, but that was very obviously the entrance to the lab, with all the beasts around it, and all the plants around it, and the little box in the center, I mean, it's such a recognizable entrance fault. Alright, that's Josephine. Um, oh! It's not on the road, though. Um... That's alright. Pull around this corner. Doesn't mean I can't use my martial arts very well in here. Ooh. Okay. I think that little dude's gonna protect me from Josephine as well. Or Psyche, I mean. Josephine's dead. Uh, okay, I fell asleep and then I got slowed. That's a random chaos effect for you, though. Uh, I'll check how protective this robe is. It's probably not worth using, but it could be, because it gets willpower. Let's see, I mean, my other one gets fire of this. So AC decreases by 5, evasion decreases by 3. Yeah, it's not worthwhile. Oh, come on, hit with the curari. Magical powers like health. I don't know if it's worthwhile though. I mean, nine hit. Nah, I don't think nine hit points is worth that much. Even with the whole magic regen going, I don't think it's a good idea. So there's gloves in here that doesn't help me. Alright, well, it's um, time for the ladder. Do I have the poison resist, which is going to help me out? Do I have nothing else? I got fire resist, I got a resist corrosion. Eh. No resist cold, but I'm sure this will still be fine. Gotta try and, like, lunge at those guys to build up the regen. Okay, a rick of dags is not really something I need. I can probably just drop that one at some stage. Um, I should use this as a jar armor or something, right? Like, uh, I mean, there's only the shield at the moment. That's all that useful. I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Could have charged up my shield, it's just at some stage I'll probably get a better shield and I will want to charge that one up, like some sort of tower shield or something. I mean, it really depends. If I'm gonna stick with the- if I get a better shape-shifting form and I actually end up going with that one, like something better than statue form, then I probably won't need the too much shield skill and I won't need a bigger shield. Um... I just get marked. I did. It's fine, because the level's basically done. Oh, did I just pick up another Dex Ring? Yeah, I got like two of these guys. Alright, I can drop the Magic Regen as well. God, plenty of Magic Regen on this character. Spirit Guard is actually a lot more useful. Um, so yeah, my only use for the Magic Points is the Spirit Guardian. What's up with this area? Is that the edge of the map or something? Don't know how to get the... Alright, let's see. What's going on here? So, guy reached up, please. I mean, that's good enough. I've done the majority of the levels. I'm sure, there's probably like something hiding behind a plant or whatever. Uh, ooh. I'm gonna zap this guy with some acid. Ooh. Did not kill him. I'm gonna have to drink a healing potion. Okay. I thought the acid would do, but I guess not. I'll just hit it with the curare. I should have maybe started with that one. Mm. 
I don't think there's really much you can do to get willpower. They certainly haven't seen any rings of willpower or nothing. Right, so I got the strolls as one of my lab branches, which should be fine. At least I can stand in the shallow water. Ooh, okay, what's the shield? Plus two. Now, I'm better off with a potential one than a plus two one, because uh, that's like, well, two more shield value, but three less armor class. Not really worth it. Alright, oh, bring out the death yank. This time I will start with the curare and then just punch it. There we go, that made it a lot easier. Oh, last time I'm probably going to just serve and slash the... <sighs> Maybe. I completely forgot to use my serve and slash on the last death yank, the one before that one. Uh, I think all of these potions is brilliant, excellent. Well, I know that none of those are a requirement, because I did get my requirement ready for my Bailey. Uh, Alright, snake pets. I'd like to see that one. Although getting constrained all the time is maybe not the best with Wu Chi and always. Why is this? Oh, it's uh, excluded because of the all club plant. Sure, that's fair enough, I guess. Um, I do have to resist corrosion, so I can probably just go beat that one up. Finish the other. Oh, hit his target of 15. Everything's about to hit his target. Shaping's already got a little bit of skill, but I'll just get Shaping up to 14, I think. I think it's time to get the statue form going. <laughs> Alright, time to go down. I might get the statue form. End of lab, we'll see. But that would be reasonably early to get it. Alright, go identify... Shot weapon. I don't have nothing to enchant. Um... Okay. If I had an apportation, I might be able to grab some of that loot, but I don't think I do. Nah. Uh oh. Dropping two levels is not good, because that puts me on the last level. Hold up, I gotta... Not really anything I can do to get me off this level super quick either, although I could take the escape patch. I probably will, it's like hydras and everything coming from me. Level 5 has always got so many creatures, so yeah, it's always makes sense to get off that one. I could take another escape patch, but... I think I'll just give it exploring. There we go. This is a staircase. Uh, I'm going to try bringing an elephant up. Oh, wait. Actually, no. The second thoughts. I just hide in this little choke point where they can't um, push me around. Fire Dragon Armor is really good. My armor is currently giving two fire this, so they end up with like negative cold resist. I don't think that's good. And it, uh, no, it doesn't even, it even decreases my AC. Right, because my armor fits poly or something, so I get most of my armor class from the enchantment bonus, and my armor is decently enchanted. Oh man, seven scrolls of enchant armor? Gotta get a useful load soon. That's a crazy number of enchant armors. Pull the shark back just a little bit. Oh, mine up immediately. If it's gonna mine up immediately, I'm gonna lignify, which will make it really trivial, but... I managed to kill one of the sharks without having to lignify at least. Right, well, it's level four. One more level to land, and I've got up to... Only like five shape shifting, yes, yeah, so I'll make that much progress. Maybe I won't get it. I don't think I'll get it in time for the end of the lair, unfortunately. But I'll maybe get it going in the orcish mines, we'll see. Maybe not even quite in time for that one. Problem with this Oncolor plot is I can't rampage it because it's like slightly off from where I need it to be, but it's not too bad. What do I do about all these dream sheep? Um, I'm gonna pull this back one and I'm just gonna stop and slash kill this guy. Oh, did not happen. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, 
Can I paralyze Ulrich? Mm, maybe. 30%. Ooh, I've got a vulnerability. You know what? I think that's probably worthwhile. Four tries. Fifth try does the trick. Okay, I'll sub this out to these guys because I'm worried about the other dude. Well, okay, fifth try with a 50% chance of happening. I mean, I guess it's alright. That's often how these things seem to go for some reason. Uh, that's close enough to choke point, I'll just stay where I am. Although the other option was like pulling all the grand down the open. Oh, it's a random triple slot. Shame not a triple slot character. I feel like triple slots are really rare, and sometimes you just like randomly see them lying on the floor. I mean, I guess everything's about, a bit like that. Like sometimes you randomly see a really good artifact just lying on the floor or something. Alright, what's the plan with the Hydra? Um, let's split it for the rest of the stuff. Can I paralyze it? No, it's not gonna happen. Um, I can get it with an acid though, right? Maybe. Gotta try and serpent slash it. Because I had two options. I, I could escape it with a serpent slash or I could try and kill it and killing it worked. Character might almost be able to benefit from those blade hand talents, but now I melt my shield, never mind. <laughs> That's the main problem with blade hands. If it didn't mount your shield, I reckon it would actually be a lot more useful. Oh, that's not gonna work. Hold up. Oh, come on. I've got two curari attempts here. Alright, well, I might actually go down another staircase, because I think it was both the Catablepus and, uh, uh, Death Yak on that one. Can't remember to bring me over to this corrosion. I've already got rid of this corrosion on my armor. Oh. Alright, if I just go wait up here, I should be able to bring the Catablepus back, or oh, I guess the uh, Death Yak works as well. Alright, there we go, dead. So I'm level 14, um, I've got 7 skill. Man, I'm not, at the shape tuning, I'm really not being that fast. I think it's a minus 2 aptitude, which is alright. I think it's like, is that average? Might be average. That doesn't sound terrible. Well, the death the yeah, I should definitely start at Cura Read, because I think these ones are quite, uh... Or oh, dire elephant or whatever it is. These ones are quite bad sometimes. Bang, I made it explode with the surface slash. Ooh, a gravity hammer. Uh, yes, I want that. Let me drop the fire dragon armor, the willpower armor. I mean, I can drop a lot of stuff. All right. I care about a whole bit. That's not going to make me interested, not as an unarmed character. So let's go to dungeon level 12. Man, yeah, definitely going to be past the end of the Orcish Mines by the time I get anywhere near getting this statue form going. That's about where I'd expect, like, going to the first lab branch. Um. Sounds about right. Alright. I just... Rampage some more of these guys. Build out the healing. The early game, the healing does a lot more than later on. Later on, the I mean, the region's still decent, but it's not quite as much. Alright, I can, uh, identify... I've got four of these, four emulators. They've got good fire though, so, like, if I emulated, it wouldn't be too bad. Oh, uh, sure. That was a minotaur. Um... Well, I've got to go down another staircase. I maybe should have gone the Orcish Mines first, but I didn't know there was going to be a Minotaur here. What did I do with the Hydra last time? I hit it with some acid, I think. Oh, yeah. I mean, that softens it up quite a lot. Oh. Right. 
tried all these staircases, but it's not perfect. Okay, it's a distant drum. Uh, I guess I just find my way through all these skeleton warriors. But I've not exactly got much regen. It's definitely beating of a distant drum. Not that promising. Um, uh oh. Was it an eyeball? There must, there must be a shapeshifter, right? There's no way that wasn't. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Might as quickly drop a couple of items. Um. <laughs> won't worry too much about this beetle. Uh, did that drop all three? Yeah, maybe? That's only like two items. Anyway, let's go inside. So we've got. Man, I really feel like these places almost do need some magic map because there's some sort of artifact ring there. There's an artifact cloak there. Alright. Just like trying to get an idea and then I'll go through everything. So there's an artifact emblem which I could definitely use. I've just got the an artifact hat. Oh, so you got a choice of which side you want to do. Uh, some shot down, which I don't massively need. Is there anything under this guy? Yeah, it's the artifact amulet on that side. So this side would be... I don't think there's anything under these guys, right? Alright, so there's not much there. There's an artifact amulet and an artifact hat if you go this way. If you go this way, you get an artifact ring. These ones had another ring, right? Or not? Oh, there it is. So there's two artifact rigs that way. I want a cloak though. Add a cloak. I think I can kill the creature, so I think that means this side's the optimal side to go down. Alright, so the first rig is ice resist negative magic points. Uh, whatever. That's all that special. Um, this side I wanted to go down the one with the cloak. Uh, I mean, I guess it's still like a way of getting resist uh, cold in a hurry. All right, what's the cloak? It's a uh, ooh willpower. <sighs> Fine. I'll take off the beast eyes, but it's probably giving me a reason why to slag, but I think it's worth uh, getting a bit of defenses and stuff. All right. Uh, next region is that's the one with the other artifact ring, which might be a bit more useful. But there is a moth of wrath here, which I've got to be a bit careful of. Um, I'm going to crush these all with a gravitab red. Oh. Crash them all the Gravitab Marine again, but like, uh, one of them's almost dead, one of them's not. I just throw a nice blast. There we go. That's better. So we've got the gloves of dexterity. I've got the useless gloves, so I'll just swap them out. Um, ooh, a rig of slag. Five slag is probably better than smooth agent. Got the plate armor of regen. I don't know if that's that good. I mean, regen's nice. So AC and uh, mage would decrease by two each. And lose all my fire I don't think that's worthwhile. Alright, well. Minute of time, I guess. Got a Rapier Venom. I do have a bit of uh, cold resistance. I don't think I can paralyze it. Nope. Not a surprise. Good spot for Serpent Slash, so I'm going to start with that one. Hold up. You cure Aryan as well, because it doesn't have any poison resistance on it. Um, kind of want to pick that up, but I guess I'll see what else is here. What if polymorphs is some leather armor? All right. Uh, 
Oh, I don't need the D Gen. Um Yeah, I kinda do want that for this course. Unless I got one uh, elsewhere. Mm, not by looks. Oh wait, oh wait, hold up. This was the resistance corrosion one. I mean, it's maybe not the best. Uh, that's hard to swap. But I might. I think I can leave that one actually. That wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah. What is my damage at right now? Thirty-five. Oh yeah. Yes, due to that slag and stuff. Whoa, something's wrong with this guy. Distortion. Oh, the distortion. Um, I can't paralyze it, can I? Even multiple of these guys. I should have hit it with the acid wand, I think. All right, well, I got it pretty low, and I could probably take it out with the acid wand. Oh, it's not quite close enough. Excellent. <clears throat> I'll take another way down because I don't want to be surrounded by two of these skeletal warriors. This level has enough skeletal warriors, but it's not too bad. I seem to be able to take them out individually. All right, um, orchid mines, I guess, but I'm not quite there on the statue form. That's probably fine. I could probably get that, uh, still before my first lab brunch. I've got like 11 out of, uh, 14 skills a minimum to kind of get it going. Is that worth, like, rampaging in here? I don't begin to question that. It did bring me up to like six uh regen or something, which was definitely helping, but I don't know if it was worthwhile. Oh, my AC is really increased since I uh, got some new items and swapped all my stuff around to got the beast talisman. So it's not letting me use some of my gear. That's a full on pad cannon. Not that I'm the, the sort of character after that one. I think that's uh, makes the second time I've seen a hand cannon in the Orkish Mines, though. Uh, anything I need here is a Twisted Glaive. No, I think there's anything good, especially not for an unarmed character. No duck or dusters or anything. Um, hmm. That's way too many priests. I think the idea here is just to retreat up a little bit. Yeah, because if all those priests might be at once, I'm just going to die. I mean, sure, like, Arvatons have a decent amount of health. Actually, I don't know if they do really have a decent amount of health. I think they used to have good health, and then it got uh, swapped out with some of the, like, regen and stuff. Alright. I gotta wait around a little while so that uh, the quark thing to disappear. I don't want to be mal mutated. I think seven regen is the max that I could get up to, but it drops off pretty fast when I stop fighting things. Yeah, it's maxed out at seven. All right, shape shifting got to twelve. Nice, nice. Well, it's definitely another area where I need to uh, retreat back despite losing my regen. But I might just go all the way back to the staircase, I think. Oh, that looks like it needs a servant slash. Get rid of the most important things. This guy could probably be curari. Let's see. He's got a great act of electrocution. Yeah, oh. Whew. Ooh, okay, um, it is slowed. I think I do a healing potion.
I was just not sure if that needed a healing potion or a blink. Um, okay. Let's blow it up with a nice blast, I think. I think that knight's a bit better. Do they still have electrocution or his great sword or something? Yeah, the first one did. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go back to the staircase and just uh kill up, get rid of that exhaustion. There we go. Let's bring up the next one of these. In fact, I might just try to have a little bit of Serpent Slash. Hey, they killed them. Let's get uh, more strength, of course. Bring my damage up to 36. Who doesn't want to punch people really hard? I'm not seeing any more priests in here, but this was an ending that was absolutely full of priests. So we've got Paul loves party tricks, hexes, young poisons, handbook, and a uh, conductivity. What does this one have? Maxwell's capacity coupling, Ike Jordan Lightning Spire. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I care about any of those armor. There's more teleport. There's a net, which I might not be able to. Oh, I can throw that in statue form. He's for is good. There's a number of good things here. Uh, I've got a bit of money left over, so I can buy some of them. Let's activate poison resist amulets. What else is there here? Poison resist? Magic regen amulets, of course, with tons of those. Flight ring, strands, and sea invisible. I don't think I need those ones, but I might just go and grab the haste potion. I should still have money left over. I might grab. All the stuff is at 1,800 gold. That's plenty of gold left over. Alright, it's revelations. Um. Is that a manual of pole lobs? Well, it doesn't help. Okay, all the staircases are done, so... I just gotta go get the uh, granite talisman, I guess. Um, Yeah, definitely getting the money was not the hard part. Oh, I might as well identify the scroll of noise. It was only like 15 gold for effectively an identify. It was not too bad. Alright, um... Can I bring the pull up guy? Good, I can bring it back to the staircase without getting the attention of some of the other skeletal warriors. Do I need boss leg? What am I even using? I'm using the pause versus versus current see invisible one. Um, I don't think I'll stack in boss leg. This isn't really the character that benefits the most from slag. I mean, I guess my attack delay is 0.8. I'll be slower though when I get the statue form. Although, actually, I guess with the statue form, it uh, increases your damage, like, post slaying, so... Despite your attacks being slow, it doesn't actually make it any worse. Alright. I don't even get to that warrior. It doesn't really matter. I guess I've gotta, gotta fight the skeleton warriors first. Looks like they all retreated back to where they initially started, so maybe... I know some creatures do have, like, a habit of retreating back to where they initially started, but uh, a lot of creatures don't. Um... I think there are meant to be, like, different ways that creatures uh, patrol or something. And I know a lot of, like, pandemonium lords will definitely retreat back. I don't have barding, right? So there's nothing stopping me putting it on. It will probably melt as soon as I get like the statue form going, but I mean for now I'll put it on, right? Uh I'm only like one okay, one scale away from getting the statue form.
I could put on 34 mod early if I wanted to. I mean, there's uh, nothing stopping me. But the fact that I lose like a little bit of max health for a while, um, I got a fire one, surely. I mean, if you get to this point in the game, you don't have a fire one either. You've used a lot of them, or you've just been really unlucky. Oh, I don't need my old beast tallies with this stuff. Those are pretty useless now. It's kind of a shame how, like, uh, shape-shifting characters go through, like, a phase where they're not using shape-shifting because it's not worth it. Uh, because it always doesn't seem to happen. Getting a bit flayed here. Oh, I might have to teleport out, actually. I was hoping I could get into the guy that was flaying me and just waited off or whatever, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Yeah, because, like, look at that. As soon as the flame with him, what he held us back, well, basically all of it. But I was, like, holding out to, like, try and serpent slash the guy that was, uh, flaying me, but I just couldn't. All right, change to 14. Let's keep that going to 16, but I don't know. Do you think a limit there and sort of told me when it reached 14, which is what I want to put the form on? Uh... Right now I can put the form on. So I got 141 health. 150 health. So that goes up. Damage goes up to 52. Uh, I think that went up. Yep. I feel like I was on 30 something. Oh, there's another grand I won. Oh man, I almost could have gone away without buying this one for 900 gold. But sure, whatever. <laughs> right, but the downside is I slowed down. But my resistance. Ooh, worse. <laughs> I don't have a, like, a fire resistance anymore, do I? Hmm. I need to hope I find something that gets fire resistance. Scroll sounds alright. That's a problem, because I got the got the snipers to go to. I mean I'd go in, but it would be nice to have some fire resistance here. Yeah, the resist electric at least. That's something. It's gonna be okay, once my gear got melted. Yeah, we also have body armor melted, uh, barding melted, gloves melted, cloaks stick around though, so I get to keep my willpower at least. And the, the guys in the air buy some shields for me, at least that's kind of what I'm hoping, oh, hmm. Always trying to constrict me. Also, scroll of fear. In fact, there's lots of scrolls of fear, which is that's an excellent timing on those scrolls of fear. Let's punch these guys, I guess, because uh, you get all the guardian serpents, some of the things around you, and the scrolls of fear. These things don't have that much willpower, so the scroll of fear will help happily stop you being held in place. Uh. Did find another potion or berserk rage. I mean, it's uh, it's one of the things that is like occasionally useful. Like, I think my last character used a few. I should do fire from next to it, right? I might just do my serpent slash. Um, try and get rid of it nice and quick. Oh, that guy's got a big shield. Um, I'll try a seven slash, but like it's gonna struggle a little bit to get going when I'm pinned in place. I'll take a look at this. Yeah, oh, I uh, can't compare it just yet. I need to drop like some of my barding and stuff. I think just go here, take off the form. So it was barding that was melted. What else was melted? Body armor was melted. Gloves was melted, right? Wait, why, why am I still wearing my barding? I thought I dropped that one. There goes the chainmail. There goes the barding. Something was going on there. I don't know quite what. No, wait, hold up. It just says no barding. Wait, it says gloves currently unavailable, body armor currently unavailable. No barding. That doesn't seem right at all. It should say barding unavailable because it is. 
Um. I get some more shield skill. Uh, but soon I should get, I guess, more punching skill. Although I got like the more evocable, so I should actually get the evocation up to ten. All right, shield evocation, and then I'll get punching people. What's my attack delay anyway? 1.1. 1 .1. I think I can get it below um, 1, but only when I'm really skilled at the unarmed. Because it usually gets out to point, uh, wait, no, I didn't need a, what, point 0.6? A little bit over point 0.6 would still work. So you don't need too much skill for that. More like, maybe like 20 skill, 22 skill. Alright, can I identify myself a good old attraction potion? That's more useful now that I'm in statue form. And I can't run up to things quite as easy with Mioglodon. I'll bring Mioglodon upstairs. Because when they... Oh, oh, they pushed me off the staircase. When they corrupt, though, the creatures they summon and don't follow you up staircase. I might just summon slash them. There we go. Yeah, the more damage I do, the more effective that summon slash is. I seem to do quite a bit of damage at the moment. This is certainly feeling like my better than my last character, which was trying to stab people with like a little uh, dagger, I think, at this point in the game. This character's going around punching them with iron fists. Not iron fists, um. Stone fists. There's a ring here that gets fire cold resist. That's excellent. It gets willpower as well. There's also, though, an ablet, like a uh, reflection ablet that gets the fire resist. Um, I think I go for the willpower, fire, and this cold, this ring. I mean, this ring's just amazing, right? And I could go drop whatever. Um, ah, oh, probably that ice ring. What am I wearing? I'm wearing the slag. I'm wearing the resist corrosion, see invisible. I might finally take off that resist corrosion, see invisible ring. I know it's going to drain me a little bit, but I'll recover from that not too long. Yeah, there we go. So I'm missing the resist corrosion, but all my other resists are, like, good. Including my willpower. Oh, hey, Vashnia. Um... I can't bring it around the corner quite as well as I'd like. I'm trying my best there. All right, now they've got around the corner. I can stop and slash her. Hey, there we go. That's better. Now what? I think I might just go teleport out now, because uh, all the Rajas are going to be a bit of a problem. That's uh, the a ring I dropped. Um, okay. Try to get back to the staircase, because I know there's like all those uh, archers still on the level. Oh, there's all the archers. Try bring something up. Oh, come on. Uh, let's give a rampaging around to get the regen building up because that seems to be doing a decent job, especially with Wujin, where I'm still getting like a ton of attacks and while well, moving around all the time. Right, next level. This guy's got a shield of. Oh, nothing. Stab me with a pole up. I think I might just go down another level. Well, I'm really not like at all good at dodging, am I? Because I got 80 evasion and that's with uh, nothing like reducing that. I guess my shield, I guess technically, is probably reducing that maybe by one point or something. I don't think it's really worth grabbing the dodging skill of this character. Often the statue form characters can get some dodging and then they'll be uh, good with both their evasion and their armor class, or at least decent with both. And that seems to help a lot, but I guess this character's going to be trying to get decent with shields and armor class. I think it's mighted up. Um...
Nah, I might just run back a bit. I think these Nagas are a bit faster than me, but they're spending all their time just shooting poison at me, so it's like not that big a deal. Oh, it's one of these, uh, rune chambers. It's one of the ones... Oh, man. I do have fire resist now. Good. It's one of the ones where it's nice if you can fly above the lava. Because there's a place where you release a whole bunch of, like, snakes and stuff. I don't know if a scared can do that. Sometimes the snakes release themselves because there's, like, guardian serpent with them. So sometimes you don't need to be able to fly, but usually you do. Which, um... I think there's a ring for sale somewhere, which I could go buy. Wait, what's that second one doing? It's resist corrosion, see invisible, which is not actually terrible. It's minus intel, it's whatever, I think. Uh... I still might have, um... Ooh, that's not going to work, is it? Let me just uh, fear these guys up a little bit, see how many of them I can get rid of. Uh, not many. Who suffers slash this guy, I think? Alright, keep this guy running. What if it does, like, any uh, initial physical damage? I mean, doesn't really matter, like, with his poison attack. Either way, it doesn't seem to really do any damage with it. I'm going to quickly take shields. I think the tower shields I've seen would be basic. Oh. Pretty much every shield I've seen in here has just been a basic shield, unfortunately. Ooh. I just teleport out of this. Got a lob trapped. It's actually not bad after teleporting out. I might be able to pull some of the things out of the boss chamber. We'll see. Oh, I think they had trouble getting around these windy corners. Yeah, it looks like they're all still in here. Alright. I could just... Uh, no, I can't use the potion of enlightenment. I guess I'll go uh, grab that ring of fly. They've got the money, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, let's go. Dax might give me a tiny bit of shield value. I guess we'll see. Um, I said a slang, right? But I mean, my damage is still uh, 48, which is not too bad. So let's go, what, state princess? Uh, P. Go back to that. Yeah, this is it. Uh... I don't want to rampage there, that's better. I just want to fight these guys one at a time. I know the shock servers can still do stuff, but if I wanted to, I could emulate these guys. You know what? I kind of do actually want to emulate these guys. Not spreading as much as I like. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got my rune. Do I want to swap back in the slang or do I want to go with the uh, see invisible? Where do I have to go? I've got the shoals. Actually, shoals is pretty good to be able to fly, so I might keep the flight off the shoals at least. That's why the cave is awfully close. I know exactly where that one is. Um... Okay, well, I need the faith outside. I guess I'll leave the evasion and all. I don't need that see invisible or this corruption one anymore. I've got the other one, the one with the minus end, which is probably better. Uh, probably not the brilliance for now, at least. And let's go in. So I got a uh, one call resist. And the initial guys weren't too bad. Right now, so to get the banner of punching, so get fighting unarmed. There we go. That should do. Hmm, I want to run like too much further into here. Hold on, these guys, I might just creep back a little bit. But unfortunately, no doors or anything to close all these guys. Um, 
does get me my uh, servant slash back, which I might use on that guy to get rid of it. Ooh. That statue was very robust. I did not manage to do that much to it when I tried taking it out with the servant slash. Everything I've got here that's good against statues? <laughs> it's a statue versus a statue fight here. Oh. I'm going to try it heavily slow because that means that one of these guys won't be able to see me at least. Oh, that just straight up killed it. Uh. Am I slow? Not yet. I might just stop and slash these guys. Right, so I clear this all out, like, got a ring of core protection at the end. I mean, I guess that's fine. Would it be more useful to hear this? Probably, yeah, probably the place where I would have actually used that if I had it. Anyway, I guess I'm done. Let's get out of here. Uh, my Amulet's still Guardian Spirit, it is. I think I saw a better one for sale, but I probably don't have the money anymore. It's the one that gets like some good old fire just reflection. Oh, Int, because I probably do need a bit of that actually now. Now that I've got the whole minus Int ring on. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good one to go with. Alright, well, first of all, the Shoals was pretty easy, so I think this, uh, hopefully this theme continues. Mm, I just gotta move forward, so this might be bombed. But it'll, it'll probably make up for the regen eventually. Polyphemus, um, I think I back up a bit. None of these guys are, like, way faster than me. A lot of them will get calcified, though, apart from... Oh, that one got calcified as well. All right, so that's working. Uh... But yeah, they are way faster than me, but I still think it's the right thing just to retreat back. Oh, he's probably people has got his uh, catapleafers on him. I was hoping I might be able to, like, uh, petrify him with his own catapleafus. Hey, there we go. I think he's petrifying now. Excellent. That's what I like to see. <laughs> it's always super funny when his own catapleafus does it. It's like when I summoned those, uh, Moths of Wrath last game, and they absolutely bizarre up all my enemies that was doing me in. <laughs> he's also got his own... Hostile allies. What do I got here? I got some enlightenment. I don't think I really need that for the willpower. And I'm currently flying, but I mean, it might be useful later on to be able to fly on demand. I feel like fighting a Kraken is fine. Alright, where'd it go? I guess it's dead. Um, I can't see it. Yeah, the Krakens aren't very good at escaping with their rank. I feel like they should do a better chance of a better job of escaping. Oh, maybe they should. I don't know. It'd be really annoying if they were actually good at escaping, so it's probably a good thing that they're not. It's another statue form? Well, it's like the third statue form I've seen in this game. I mean, there's a reason that most people that enter the form into like statue form. It's like the only form you actually find that's half decent. <laughs> In fact, it's actually is a, it's also one of the best, better forms, so that also helps. Is it time for me to go get myself a tower shield? Because, like, I can. I haven't seen any good ones, but, like, even a bad one could still be enchanted plus nine. Uh, 
Okay. Well, last crack wasn't too bad, so just run up to this one. Yeah, take it out with the martial arts, because that hits the tentacles as well as the body, so it's doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, one more level of the shoals, which could, in theory, be tough. Oh, yeah, javelin ears. I've, it's been a good thing I've been seeing too many of those, because they ignore my shield. I mean, they don't ignore my armor class, but they're still not great. I feel like there's no characters I have that's like, oh, yeah, I want to see javelin ears. <laughs> I mean, even like characters that want the javelins, I don't think I often want to see the javelin ears. Uh, I've got three identifiers. I can stop the potion of mutation, amnesia, and poison. Right, I can do another one as well. I might as well do one of these scrolls. I got a uh, just good old torment. I mean, I can like use that if I want. Like, I am resistant to torment. That's something. To start a fight off with, like, uh, get an enemy down, reasonably wounded. I'll probably never use that, uh, having said that, but it's something that you could, in theory, do, and it might be... Okay. I mean, it's still not that good, because, like, more enemies can come onto screen afterwards, and also... I feel like being low in health is, uh, more of a problem for you than enemies, because enemies don't really have to worry if they die, there will always just be more enemies. That's a Black Knight spotting. I want to wear that one. But. Yeah, get us in. If you switch to wearing this armor, you'd have uh, these. But I can't because I've got the statue form. It really thinks I can put this on. But then when I go to the armor menu, it's not there. Hold on. If I go to this one, is there it's a wear button? Can it wear, uh, that only, wait, you can wear that only in your normal form, right. Always made me tempting to, like, leave statue form. I mean, I'm meant to be, like, the whole point of this character was that I was meant to be a shapeshifter, but, I don't know. I might just be doomed not to be a shapeshifter. <laughs> I mean, who can really say no to a Black Knight's body goes, fire this willpower. Do I have, like, a better one of that, basically? It's this one. It does get fly, though. Uh... I guess I'll pick it up. Ooh. I think I just leave. Yep. That's oh, a lot of creatures spewing out of there. That's gonna be the rune vault, right? I said, uh, feel like there's enough guys spewing out that it probably is. What am I getting towards the scale to see unarmed and stuff? That makes sense. I'm hoping I find like a death talisman, sort of my uh, so I can go to that and where the black knight's spotting. Um. Alright, let's go to the vaults. I think my only resist electric is my statue form, right? I was also plate armor. Huh. I think I keep with the statue form for now, but like... At some stage, I don't think I want to go back to being a heavy armor character. How much enchant armor do I have? I've got eight of that, so if I found the gold dragon armor, I can enchant up. But that's not going to happen until like after depths, probably. Well, in depths, depending if I get lucky or not. These look fine. That is a this is fine. This looks kind of like an army of guys. Oh, there's a whole row of giants in here. Let me go and take another look at this. Oh, there's also a ghost. There's Izusip's ghost. They got Orb of Destruction. Agonizing Touch. Okay. Monstrous Menagerie. Dispel Dead. They seem pretty dangerous. Do any of these guys have fancy weapons? Plus two Grey Mates of Freezing. Plus one Grey Mates of Freezing. Plus two Grey Mates of Freezing. They don't just got like these Grey Mates of Freezing. Plus six great base of electrocution. Oh, yeah. Sure. 
I don't think I'd go in there though with the orb destruction guy. That seems like a terrible plan. Do I actually need this ring of like see invisible or this corrosion fly? Or can I put on like a fire this willpower? Actually, I don't even need the will willpower. I don't know, I'm just kind of wearing it because like fine. Oh, it's punk in here. Oh, I'm not the right character to use punk. Punk is really good. It's like a it's like a hand cannon except it's a faster attacking but does slightly less damage. But it's got like branded up with an acid brand, which is um Yeah, it's a nice brand. Because no almost nothing resists acid. I have got to use it before and it was uh, it was good. Um I think I, I can't even remember. It might be a bit like a spring or something, which is the ideal character for it. I'm just gonna have a slash some of these guys. Cause uh Spriggans, well they they can't use a lot of the rage weapons, but they can use I think Pug. All the manual of rage weapons go with it and a manual of conjuration, nah, no thanks. It's also like a book of movement if I want to get like uh Oh, was I have an advice letter charge or something? Probably in some of those other spells. That was a scarf. Could try for a scarf of resistance. Yeah, this is fine so far, but there is base huge and coming along. I think I might just sub it slasher. Oh. How protective is that armor? It's plus two storm dragon armor. Hold up. Let me just go try some stuff. So I need to drop... Oh, do I drop that slag? I kind of like the slag, but maybe I do. I can drop the amnesia or the enchant weapon. That makes sense. So let me just go try... Uh, take off the sub... Uh, off this form. Put on the Black Knight Spartan. Put on the Storm Dragon Scale. I mean, that's already 30 armor class right there. Um. Oh, I had to resist electric for the Storm Dragon armor. Right. No helmet, no gloves. You know what, I almost tempted to actually do this. Um, I'm not sure if I should. But... I like the gloves of decks over here. Um, actually I might grab a shield while I'm in here, because I think there's a... I could probably upgrade to a tower shield around now. Instead of body of mind is potential or something, right? So I've got uh, 14 shield value with that one on. Let's oh go drop it. Oh, that's not the right value to drop it apparently. 20. Yeah, I think that's still an improvement. I'd probably lose a bit of attack delay. But you know what? Uh, do I charge this up? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not yet, because I was saving up some good armor. Uh, there was something I was missing. It was a helmet. Actually, there must have... Wait, why did I drop my helmet? I hope I did drop my helmet. But I was, would have been able to wear that on the statue form, so I should have been wearing it anyway. Alright, let's get rid of the torment. Um, it's about the same sort of protectiveness. So I do less damage. I attack faster. You know what? I'm going to try this for a while. See how it goes. Oh, I know what I need to do. If I'm going to do this, I need to get my armor skill up to like 10 or something. That's going to make a huge difference in my armor class. Yeah, I think that's actually going to end up being more protective. I'm still a little bit slow because uh, the Black Knight's body, I think, slows me down a bit. It's ponderous. Uh, I just this guy going to freeze me? I think I'm still fine, but it's still like going at it with a freezing there. Alright, Tau Shield, sure. I might just, uh, yeah, stand at the choke point. Well, almost choke point. Just five things one at a time. I think that's the right thing to do now. It certainly feels like I have to press tab more, which makes sense because I'm attacking faster but doing less damage. It can sometimes be a slightly frustrating when you just have to spam the tab key or something, but it's not too bad. It's not like some of the old, uh, well, some like characters with a rapier of haste or something. Those can get rather ridiculous when you're, especially when you pop a like some finesse or something and you're attacking it like a 
I don't know, point two tag delay or something. Ah, gotta move these into the middle of the room so I don't get frozen. And I didn't stay in the middle of the room for too much longer. Um. Man, I don't think I've got a way to stop this game recalling, but I'll pull it back. Fairly slow, though, when I'm, like, frozen up and stuff. Oh, well. Yeah, 37 armor class. That's definitely better than what I was getting in statue form. Statue form was, like, uh, low 30s. 38 armor class. I mean, it was making rapid progress, too. Uh, gotta try and kill this guy that's blocking my staircase, right? Alright, next group of guys. That's not a very big group, just the one dude, but they'll do. Okay, armor's 10. You know what? I'm actually tempted to get even more armor. I'm just getting up to like 15. Also, I might bring the shields up to 20. I'll uh, get the unarmed and fighting going again. Get everything going. Oh, well, the statue form was definitely more damage. So I'm, I'm still not entirely sure which was the correct move. But I feel like this one just because there's more armor class. Um, I might get back to here. So what does the Black Knight Spartan give? It gives resist negative, which is the same as what the statue form gave. Um, seemed to be able to fill in all the other resists as well, which is great. Oh, Zanata. Um, I might start with the silence. You're still decent at melee. Okay. Hmm. Is this actually a problem? Oh. Silence wasn't big enough. Okay. And you managed to recall, uh, not recall, get her weapons out. Anyway, Silence will be gone any second now, right? Oh. Power leaking away. That guy's got anti magic. I might just drink a little bit of a healing potion. Okay. Silence is gone. Gonna start teleport, but I'm gonna need another healing potion, I think. Um. So much of fighting to that with silence. I guess I gotta uh, get her away from everyone else. Oh. Syrian? Um. I feel like there's a good chance I'm gonna have to just leave here, but I'm gonna try the Heavenly Storm. Okay. I mean, that's just the trick. It doesn't matter, I tried it the whole level. It's not quite like my last stabbing character where trying it the whole level is not a great idea. So with the slaying rig. Uh, I feel like most of it rings some purpose, but now that I've got armor again, uh, my inventory is a bit more full. I might drop those boomerangs. I rarely have inspect like an all into a struggle, so I don't actually need this uh char weapon, so let's drop that one. Uh. Tony the positive vid. You also, uh, can I go afford that, uh, um, amulet now? Get a little bit more fire in this? I think it's probably worthwhile. Especially now that I'm using a bit of a bigger shield as well. Nice to stack up the reflection. Right, so I can drop the... I might drop the Spirit Guide. It was nice while I had it, but, like, my magic points aren't going up that fast. So it's not doing as much anymore. Uh, although, to be fair, it's, like, still nice with the whole magic regen from rampaging at people. This one's better. This brings me out to two fire resists, which, uh, is good. In fact, you can end the game with, like, two fire resists, no problems. Maybe need a bit more, like, a header or something, but, uh, 
Yeah, even off the fire, like two, two is fine. Oh, come on, Zanata. I'm getting out of here with a teleport. Got a, she's got all the weapons on me. Got to pull her around this corner. Like, got to get her to silence. And I think this time it should be fine. Because I think this time around it's just, oh, me and her and I'm losing. Um, okay. There we go. Got her before the silence wore off. Crackle of Arcane. Um, I can get to that. I've got a magic mapping somewhere. I was gonna use this branding scroll I could drop. Five revelations? Yeah, that's fine. Spending one of those. Where? Not that, is it? It can't be that. Oh, there it is. That's it. Yep, okay. Uh, I don't have a lot of regen, though. I mean, sometimes I do when I roll at people, but in general, in terms of, like, trying to heal up after combat, it does take me a while, but I think that's fine, because I know exactly where I need to go, so if I had to wait around a little while, it's not too bad. The only problem is inventory space. I actually have a couple of that right now. I might need the grand eye talisman outside and the flaming wand outside. Oh, maybe the poly... Oh, no, I'll keep the polymorph. I got some vulnerability. Sometimes the polymorph can be really nice, but it's a really situational thing. Oh, so like, formal gardens is this? Oh, no, this is uh, this is the one, the mansion, party mansion, Alice's party mansion. I mean, they both got their trees outside, but one of them has the uh, like degeneration clouds inside the party mansion. That's fairly uh obvious. Oh, they're honestly not the creatures I expect for a party mansion. Um. I mean, the wizards are, but the guy that mites up the trees wasn't quite what I was expecting. More like what I was expecting from a formal garden. I got tons of willpower, so there's 0% of the banishment, which is excellent. Spawn the center with, like, all the single piles of coins. I usually just leave the coins. Like, sometimes you can have port them in or something, but it really doesn't seem that worthwhile. I'm sure these are not the stuff of the top one. Too many guys around me. Okay, I'm gonna use my... Uh... My, uh, service slash while I can. That's not an armator. Do I snack on food? I don't know if the um, oh, do I ate a cherry moya? Uh, but I think armatures haven't existed like when food existed. Um, so I have no idea what their food habits are like. Apparently, they eat cherry moyas or alligator jerky. Oh yeah, they seem to just eat everything. A oh, more alligator jerky. Oh yeah. Might just go get this guy with a bit of servant slash. Try and take it out before it surrounds itself with summons. Oh, six blinking scrolls. That's pretty good. Added a quiet, but this area always has really good loot. So, a vampire quick play, not for me. An avatar to regen, probably not for me. Oh, I'll just get the body, I guess. I mean, the avatar to regen's alright, but. Uh. I think good on the floor. Swamp dragon armor. Okay, I don't think there is. I had to risk going to these exclusions. Come on. Let me in. Tons of degeneration potions, but I don't think those serve any purpose. I don't even think you could drink them if you wanted to. Like, if you wanted to drink some and pass out on the exit or something, I don't think it's an option. I tried that with a dwarven character. It didn't work. Uh, 
It's not a bad spot for hitting these balls at once. There we go. I guess the statue form was slightly better for the Serpent Slash because they did more damage on each hit. Uh, so I kind of got more, more for it. Is this guy gonna... No, it's an obelisk. For some reason I thought I saw the, um, like the bolt from a tank crossbow, hand cannon. I don't want to be that close to Frederick, I might just teleport out. Yeah, I mean, I can deal with Frederick, but nobody needs with other stuff. In fact, I can even silence him up with a uh, scroll silence or something. Although I'm getting kind of low on those ones, so I'm down to just a single one. Uh, cancellation is good. I can grab that. I don't need the brilliance. The heal is good, I guess. Mutation, I might need. Uh, mine's alright. Let's go have all those. Oh, there's more haste. I think that's all my money spent. I probably don't need the other ones anyway. Right, give myself some round. It's always good. Well, with those guys specifically. Got a polymorph. Alright, that's fine. It's worried it was like distortion or something. Uh, yeah, because I don't have like any regen, so I'd have a fairly rough time in the abyss. I mean, I do have good defenses, which would help, but. Charge up to Frederick. If he does it, I don't think too bad. I'll read the silence. Nah, he's fine. Still got his orb of light or whatever. Apparently the hearts was fire magic, which I he might have. Doesn't he have like the what's it called? The like plasma beam, I think that's what he's got. I know he's got like the bombard as well. Alright, so I need to go to I could go to the Elven Halls. They got tons of resist uh resist banishment willpower. I got a resistance to everything else, because these are the guys like to dump various elements on me, whether it be fire or electricity. Ooh, I'm actually feeling a little weird. I might just leave for a little while, then come back when I'm healthy. I think this is my first character to actually properly use the Black Knight spotting, because I've I've, like, seen it before, but I haven't really, uh, I might even got all the characters that could theoretically use it before, but I don't think I've ever really got to use it for any substantial amount of time. Oh, there's a ring of poison resistance, the manual of short blades. Nah, this is useless again. What did I do with my last requirement? I thought I turned my last one into money. But I don't have the money from it. I guess I might have bought some stuff. Oh, yeah, I bought some potions or whatever, I think. Oh, it's good that I'm getting through my money. I'm actually getting use out of it. It's not going to waste. Alright, what have you got here? We've got some sort of shop trying to sell me. Oh, it's just a weapon shop. Trying to sell an unarmed character weapons. That's uh, not a very promising business idea for those guys. Especially when I can just pick up random weapons off the floor. <laughs> Which are probably better than some of the stuff sold in that shop. I've got to kill this guy. There we go. We had something in, like a guy that could corrode me, but that's mm, not the end of the world. Not like it's something in a torment or something along those lines. Do I have any reason to do the Hall of Blades? I think I might just leave the Hall of Blades on this character. I've got to remember that I've left it though. I've got nine and charge up. I'm still hanging out for the Cold Dragon armor, I think. Although, if I do get Gold Dragon, I'm up over to this electric, which could be a problem. So I'm going to have to hope for some of that from somewhere as well. Alright, well, this is going to be the entrance to the Hall of Blades. There we go. 
good off, so I remind myself that I did not plan on doing it this time round. I don't think you really get, like, artifact weapons in the Hall of Blades. Maybe you do, but I don't really remember seeing any. Alright, well, it's done everywhere apart from the Hall of Blades. That's probably what it's uh, saying that it can't reach. Um, I don't care about the leather armor, that's not going to be protective as my armor. My armor's not even that protective though, it's just a plus two electric dragon armor. Uh, pull these guys back a bit. And then I'll charge up, that's all, the right order to do that in. All right, so they're beginning to group up. Um, I think I'll start the emulation. I've already got like one fire resist. No, I've got two fire resist now. That's not too bad. Uh, gonna crush them with a bit of grab a tambourine. Ooh. Yeah, that's not quite working. I might just retreat back there. Did they all follow? I have a feeling like they did. Anyway, let's get some strands. Try and get this damage up a little bit. Up to 40 damage again. Yeah, the 7 regen is keeping me reasonably healthy. Even with that crystal spear hitting me, I should be able to stay nice and healthy. That's a lot of guys again. I might just do the whole emulation again. Um, how do I start it off though this time round? I guess I can zap the wood. Do I have a wand? I must have a wand. A wand of acid. See if that works. Because one of them is like almost dead. I should be able to take it out. There we go. Ooh. I don't even know who summoned that one. I think it's time for me to teleport out of here. Yeah, if I could see the summoner, I could blow it up, then it would be a bit more fine, but the health central is reasonably tough. I care about the magical power, right? So there's more blinking in here, but. I might actually just run off a bit. There we go. Uh, oh, wasn't quite right. Hey, there we go. Now I should be able to get rid of that summoner with a bit of... Oh, I did not. Oh, it's still got like the... It's got the time engine, so I'm going to have to teleport out, I guess. Um... Yeah, because I haven't been able to kill it. Wait, what happened to my teleport? Did it go off already? Oh, I suppose it did. Um, I saw another one. <laughs> In that case... There we go, that one got me a bit further. I already even noticed the teleport going off, but it must have, because unless something... I don't think any of these guys dispel it. I think it's just one of those ones that kind of doesn't go very far. It's going all right. I'm keeping the regen up at least. And I thought, poor Arthur Elemental being so slow was having trouble getting up to me. I mean, just darting around everywhere in combat. Oh, it's a manual of dodging. I have heavy armor now. That's probably not even worthwhile. Oh, is this uh, electric with this current minus three slang ring? That's not needed right now, but if I get better armor, I might need to put that one on, unfortunately, to get the resist electric. Hopefully I'll find a better resist electric ring, but there's definitely no guarantees of that.
All right, well, if there's one here, there could be this one. Cover this magic points for this negative. I got a one that's similar to that, except uh, without the magic points. I don't really need the magic points. I think I might just leave that one. Because it, I mean, it does mean you lose the magic points with swapping. Got, oh, invisibility, summoning, Ambrosia. Right, those are all good. I do believe I'm done with the Elven Halls now, so let's see if there's anything on the ground here. There's a short bow, oh, the unspeakable one, which is a speed short bow. Probably not that good because it's just a short bow, but anyway. I guess depths? I should have everything I need to do depths. <laughs> really? Starts me marked? Sure. Yeah, I mean, there are lots of things that are going to come along. I'm hoping for a gold dragon. Because then I can skin it and wear its skin. And chart it up again, even more armor class than I've got right now. Why does charge up to this guy? It builds up my regen. Oh, seven slash that guy, there we go. I mean, it wasn't too much of a problem, I guess, because it can't paralyze me. Oh, these guys are going to come back to life as, like, simulacrums. That's probably fine. I don't know what a simulacrum spike was does. Like, does it still electrocute you, or does it lose that ability? It doesn't even matter, whatever it did, because I got the cold resist, so it shouldn't be doing too much damage. Oh, uh, nothing left to identify. Well, I cleared out the inventory space. Hey, ten and Chad Dumber. If I get really lucky, I'll get Pudge at this run. I didn't get Pudge last run, but that was like in Zon or something. It was quite late. So hopefully, with forty and Chad, I've gold dragon armor by then. If I was going with gold dragon armor. That's fine. And it always feels wrong, like, losing all my magic points, but when you've got no use for it, it's like, doesn't even matter. Like, I'm pretty sure none of my god abilities even use it. They just get an exhaustion when they finish, so... Yeah, not a problem there. What are these sin beasts again? Like, I'm so unused to seeing those. I wonder what they are uh, replacement for like the um hell beasts. The hell beasts were like never massively interesting. They were just kind of like a loop. Oh, I guess they actually pushed you around, right? And yeah, they did do stuff. <sighs> Why did I actually dig? Oh, it's hollow. <laughs> so much for escaping those guys by digging. Um. Hmm. I'm actually going to start a heavily storm. I hope that's not a bad idea. Ooh. Definitely not ideal. I think I might do a healing potion. Oh, that didn't help. Yeah, this is what I don't want to be heavily storming anymore. Ah, uh, my health is pretty bad. That heavily storm was definitely uh, was a 100% mistake. Man, I'll do another healing potion, but I'm not really sure it's going to heal me much. Oh, it's a gold dragon. Okay. Nice to see one of those. Why can't I see so many creatures? I thought they have any storm would block them out. Um... Oh, good. It's Berserk must have worn off. Um, but this guy's still biting up. I wish it was the other side that was missing the cloud so I could teleport or blink away or something. This is not looking great. I might drink another healing potion. Um, I don't know if I can dig into this wall. I'm going to give it a try. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to try another healing potion, but I'm worried about that orb of destruction. It's still there. I'll do another healing potion. Okay. 
Oh, there's another one. Got even less health this time round. Um. Oh no. Um, I can do a serpent slash. And drink a healing potion, I guess. This is getting kind of brutal. I really shouldn't have done the, the heavenly storm. Got it. Um, what's this on it? I keep it like digging, but I think that's the right thing to do. I think I can get back to the staircase. Oh, the gold dragon got up to me. Bottle cold hits me. Ooh, I do have a resist to that, but it still did a lot of damage. Gonna drink. He has another healing potion. I'm like, get it, get up that staircase. Yeah. Okay, that was a bad use of heavenly stop. I did survive it though. At the cost of quite a few healing potions. Okay, let's get back a bit. We got an acquirement on the ground. I can see what that is. Uh, that would slash this guy. I actually do a mic potion. Didn't quite take out the Juggernaut, but I did some damage to it at least. Well, this level's proving to be quite tough all of a sudden. Right, good. I do want one of these, uh, these dragons. Come on. Drop me some armor. No armor. Oh, another one? Alright, just get my health back and then I'll fight it. Right, come on. Drop me some armor. Oh, no armor. That's a shame. It's one third chance these dragons, so... Whatever. And these are more gold dragons now. Oh, there's one. Alright, come on. You know you want to drop some armor? No, no armor. Oh, well, that's a shame. Alright, come on, kill the Juggernaut. What have we got in here? So we've got... More Levitation. Do I need Gloves of Strength? I mean, they're not enchanted up, but they're probably more useful than Dags having the strength, isn't it? Because that would help me, uh... It takes actually out of my shield, so it's not terrible. I don't know, I might just keep the decks for now. If I find an enchanted pair of strength gloves, I'll probably switch to those, though. Alright, maybe the gold dragon armor on this, come on! No, it's no gold dragon armor. There's a demon blade, magic of conjurations, oh, I guess I'm just taking the money. I don't think I'll be getting conjurations, unfortunately. Um, this is not the last level of death, though, at least, so I've still got more chance for gold dragons. Someone's digging here. Just let it do its thing, let it dig its way through. Alright. I think cut it into a corner, but I think I'm fine. Uh, this is almost the end of level 2, so two more levels of the depths. Try and find some more gold dragons. Well, I guess third level, maybe third level's the charm, right? Gives the gold dragon, come on. Please give me a gold dragon. Seven uh, regen, I'm doing pretty well there, but it's sometimes really hard to build up the initial regen, like in situations like this. We just gotta start in a fight. Um, maybe that's why I need a pile driver or something, so I can pile drive some one guy away from the group and then charge up to the group or something. Apparently, people would, like do that with blink or something, they just blink around and then charge up and stuff.
What skill do I want? I can get more. No, no, I might just get like a little bit more. See how much difference that makes. I can't really think of any other skills I need right now. Like I don't need the invocations yet. I'll probably get that eventually for a title, I imagine. Um... Where am I on? I'm, I've lost all the regen. That's fine, though. Let's retreat back a little bit. Oh, multiple juggernauts. Can I just... I don't know, oh, I didn't bring both, uh, one of them up. Oh, well, oh, wait, it did bring one of them up. Because the other one spent too long, I guess, moving up. That it, uh, no, it started attacking and then couldn't follow, I think. Hey, gold dragons. Yes, I'll take some of those. All right, come on. Oh, no gold dragon armor. Man, I've had a bit of bad luck with this gold dragon armor. Maybe this one doesn't. Hey, there we go. That does the trick. So I can drop a... I'll probably drop a cold this ring. It doesn't really matter at this point. So let's put this on. I got 42 armor class, 40 evasion. I still got 42 armor class. I lost one invasion. But I can charge this up. There we go. Uh, I got tons of fire resistance and stuff. I can get a resistant electric, but it cost me a little bit of slag, I think. I can lose the fire resistance, cold resistance. Can I lose the willpower, though? Mm, not really. The other one I can lose is resist Karun and see invisible flight. Man, if I just had some willpower or something. I mean, uh, I guess I don't actually lose the resist corrosion. I just lose the sin with what a bit of dex. Let's give it a try. I yeah, lose a little bit of shield value. But I think that's fine. That tops out all the resists. Don't see invisible anymore, but oh well. Yeah, 50 something armor class is pretty good. You know what? I might just get a bit more armor skill, try and top that up a bit more. I think that's probably the right thing to go with. Um. How's my damage looking though? Has it gone down? It's 42. I think it has gone down a little bit, but oh well. You need to work on bringing that one back up at some stage, but... I guess I am training the unarmed to try and bring it back up. And part of this is me like rampaging while well, running around, and part of that is me getting... Pushed around by the bone dragon. Around me, guys. That's a little bit rude, but I'm meant to be rampaging around all the time. I got, oh, Guardian Spirit, I don't think I need any more. Don't need any of these executions, axes either. I should wait off the fragile. Let me just retreat back a bit. There we go. I mean, it does mitigate the straw, but I'm not. I don't trust it not to be a ton more creatures after me. How am I resist anyway? I mean, I'm missing one cold resist. I'm missing the sea invisible. That's actually really good. And if I get a death valley, but I can like top out that cold resist and stuff. Um. Man, there'll probably gonna be enough willpower to like swap rounds of rings and stuff for good death talisman, but I don't think I've seen a death talisman so far. Nah, still more statue ones. I don't even think I've got like a dragon or a stomp one, right? No, the only high tier one I've seen is the granite one. I've seen three of them. I think those crystal spears are fine. Ooh, that's a lot of crystal spears. Um, ow, that's bad. I'm gonna heal up a little bit. Okay, yeah, I mean, clearly I shouldn't have. I should have used the scroll of silence. Uh, I think I can get this guy with a little bit of cold because I do have a scroll of silence that I could have used it. But you gotta use it before, like all the um. Spells are summoned out because I don't think it stops the spells casting themselves. 
Oh, the Rye Blight. I've never got a Rye Blight going. I think it's a reasonably high level spell. Is my gold dragon here drop some more armor? No. I, I got lucky that one of them did, but I've seen so many gold dragons that haven't dropped armor this time around. Ooh, strikes. Is that somewhere I can dig a choke point? I don't think so, because I'm not taking a lock with non choke points. Alright. I hope the heavily storm's not the worst idea ever. Um. That's gave me some extra rebate, and I don't really know if it was worth it in that sort of situation, though. This level three of depth, so I've still got even one more level here to go if I want to go down, and I do want to go down in the depths. Hey, it's a good old changing room. That's why I have death talisman. I have dragon blood talisman. Oh, I lose so much armor class. Putting this one on, it would die. So it would give me like 12 armor class instead of 50 armor class or whatever. It's got a tail slab. It's got a bite. Okay. Ah, uh, whatever. Although I don't think it makes any sense for this character to have. I'll get the... Oh, I guess I got the potions, but... Yeah, that, unfortunately that form doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, obviously it would give me more than my 44 damage or whatever, which I guess would be fine. I might just dig into the wall just a little bit. Fight the Shrikes one at a time. I think this is fine. I'm a minus two Corrosion. Oh yeah, Corrosion's gone, okay. So with the Resist Corrosion on, those are not too bad, I guess. Um, it helps have some sort of decent defenses, too. What am I carrying around? Just a couple of charm weapons and brand weapons that are probably pretty useless. These guys know the dig, right? The Deep Troll Earth Mages. I still think I go back this way, and I might just head all the way back to the staircase so nice and quick with all the bit of Serpent Slash. Oh, the teleports? Am I low on those with this character? I feel like this character is one of my few characters recently that hasn't run low on the teleports. This has got like 13. I mean, it doesn't mean I won't run low, because I could use those recklessly. I've got the tons of willpower, so I don't need that. Get the strength, but I don't need the enlightenment just yet. Uh, it's just an armor shop, okay. Why is my cloak? I had some armor this bad. Is my helmet this bad? My cloak is one that gives willpower, so that's kind of nice. Oh, plus four gloves of strength. That sounds good. Don't need a minus two cloak of palm. I don't think it's three slag, but the plus four gloves of strength are going to be good. Got the gloves of dex, so I'll lose a little bit of dex, but I'll gain some armor class. Um, I currently got 26 shield. I lost one shield, but I gained an evasion because of the strength, I guess, and I did gain two armor class, so definitely worthwhile. I think this character is living up to their name as an Arbitor, though, with their 57 uh, armor class. Hey, it's another good old gold dragon for me to fight. Hey, it's again, it's one with Aldar, which is kind of funny. I feel like this one third chance is rigged against me. And one of them gave me. The arm, which is all I needed. Alright, where do I want to go? I want to get myself a uh, rune, so I might just go to vaults. Yeah, head down to vaults. I was kind of thinking of this character like switching to shiny one, but that's not going to work because I. Um. 
I have black knight spotting. I think that's evil. Right? Does it say in here? Heavy barding made from pitch black metal and laid with pleats of black diamond. It was once protected the steed of the black knight during their reign of terror. Those who wear it become partially undead, gaining some of the benefits without the unfortunate downsides. Although the great weight of metal and stone slows the wear somewhat. Yeah, that's one. You become partially undead, which the shiny one doesn't approve of. That's the right staircase. That's not the right staircase. Is it? We've got an escape hatch here. Let's freaking bite and head on down. This is questionable. I think the heavily storm doesn't cut me off from going anywhere because there isn't really anywhere to go. Hopefully, I can build up just a little bit of regen. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I'm certainly trying, but it's not building up. All right, what else is coming along? This guy. Nothing else. Got to run of heavily storm if nothing else comes along soon. I got six tons left. Oh, I can get a few tons off this guy. Back up to seven tons. Four, three, two, one. God, all right. Well, I can lie down, like, I don't know, maybe a fifth of the level. Oh, nice, enchant armor. I can go enchant the gold dragon armor, I think. Gosh, uh, blinking, yes, please. I don't need a enchant weapon. I will grab another sound, so I'm getting kind of low on those. Uh, I don't need the revelations right now, but uh, I got 2,000 gold. Whatever, I'll grab them. There's probably more shops in here if I've seen the one. Uh, my cloak is willpower to discover this is which I remarkably don't need. I mean, I guess it gets one more cold resist, but it doesn't touch my fire resist because that's maxed out. Uh, I like how half these guys are mited, but I guess it's fine. Kind of running backwards and forwards there, just to get like a little bit of regen, and it seems to be paying off. Alright, get a little bit of regen there, but I think that's about as much regen as I'm going to be able to get. Yeah, sometimes the guys like stay back to like, cast a spell and they get to do another rampage. Oh, I think I maxed out on my whole regen business here. What's this guy got? I hope it's not too bad. It's uh, an Atropodon. That should be fine. Alright, I think that probably clouds out another quarter of this level, so it's probably. Oh, this is even one of the staircases. Probably time to head on to the next quarter of the level. Oh, I don't think I can stop this game recalling. No, recall the done. More of this fancy of stuff. All right, well, what I want to do is I want to get the surface slash to try to charge things up a bit here. It'll get my regen going as well, which is nice. Build up a little bit of regen. Oh, I think that's all I can get. It's hard to build up the regen when you can't see very far. You can't really get the rampage in, which I kind of needed the most when I got the Heavenly Storm going as well. Oops, that... 
quite kill that guy before I ran away. I might be able to keep the heavily storm going into this area. Yeah, it's uh, also like completely maxed out. Good. That's what I like to see. Hey, more gold dragon up. There's been so many gold dragons in this game. It's crazy. Uh, marked probably doesn't matter. I'm in the last uh, part of the level. And I feel like I've already cleared out a reasonable amount of it. Uh oh, I think I'm gonna run with the heavily storm, but that's fine. I can probably just auto explore from now on. I really don't think there's much left on this level. Oh, another dragon form. That's fine. I see like three dragon forms, so they're actually ready to be common this time around. They haven't been uh, in a lot of games. Oh, I care about the plain mail vent. Also, I don't care about these gloves anymore. Get myself slowed down. Hold up. Is that an ancient lich? No. What slows me down? Some of the the shadow race or something, maybe? It's probably a shadow race shapeshifter or something, because there's a lot of shapeshifters in vaults, so I don't think it's naturally shadow race. That's a cell scarf repulsion, sure. Right, well, I think I'm done with Vault 5. That wasn't too bad. I mean, there was a number of heavenly storms going through there, but it didn't touch my party because I killed so many things with them. Uh, just basic armor, basic armor, more scale mails or this on it. All right. I haven't found a death talisman, have I? Uh, no, no death talismans. Have I found... What other barding have I found? Is that my... That's not my only poison resistance, right? My barding? Or is it... No, it's not. My ring's giving it as well. I think I had, like, the basic barding. So if I take that off... Oh, oh wait, it's barding fire this. So if I take that off, it was like, 9 armor class. So that's actually quite a lot to lose. Hmm. Interesting. Is it time to... It might just be time to end the Zot now. But I'm definitely thinking of, like, going for more runes. That's why I was kind of thinking of, like, whether I could do the Shining one or something, but... I don't know. <laughs> Not looking that promising, because uh, Charlie was going to hate the barding. Oh, hey, Vivi. Uh. Yeah, a little bit charge up the regen. This is a good time for Vivi to come along, I think. You can just punch her with my 52 damage or something. Ooh, I think this will be fine if I do a sub and slash. All right, that was in fact fine. Um. Both how badly that guy's doing it, constricting me. I I still don't know exactly what that constriction's based on. I feel like I looked it up at some stage, but I just can't remember. Like, I know there's something that affects the chance of something constricting you. It might just be straight up based on, like, your level or something. Um, but I don't know if it's based on something sensible, like, strands or not. Uh, okay, the unarmed's doing pretty good, so I should probably just get... I don't know, I get, like, a little bit of fighting, a little bit of armor... A little bit of shield. Those are all useful skills to have. Evocation's fine. Shape training's fine, because I don't have the death talisman. If I had a death talisman, that would be the obvious thing to train for right now, but I don't have one, so... <laughs> yeah, it's not... Going to be able to train for that, I guess.
How bad would it be to do a Wuji and extend it? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't do an extended with this character. I'm just not quite getting what I need to do it. I mean, I won't use the uh, won't use the magic map because in case I do change my mind, because there might be a death tally minute here. I mean, it's unlikely, but it's, it's a possibility. Uh, also, I need to think about the title for this character. What was I going to get, anyway? I mean, I was thinking just the Wujin one, right? But if I want to do that, I've got to start working on it right now. Um, what's that abbreviation for the Avatar? I was going to check what titles I've had. I can't even remember. I'm going to look it up in here. Uh, AT, right. I've had lots of things. They've had Wild, which is the um, Trog one. Per Petrigid Data, whatever it is, the Earth one. I've taught Child from Hip Day Quarter. Holy Roller. I think that was the Shining One one. Invulnerable, Arbitor Blade, Plane Roller, Prickly Pangolin, Roller of the Path, Rolling Thunder, and Storyteller. Hold on. I don't see a Shields one in there. If I just get shields now, which is a useful skill, I can turn that into a title. Because that would be the Arbitor Barricade. Oh, hey there. Um, Tiamat. Let me bring her back. Well, I'm more trying to bring back the Draconians. Alright, good. Got one of these guys. Oh, there we go. Dead. Bring up the next one. It's got a not just basic town shield. I, I don't think I've enchanted my town shield yet, so like, if I find a good one, I should totally use it. Uh... Where did she go? She just like ran away? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'll go uh, deal with some of these guys. Oh, I see her. I'm running up like a little bit of regen here. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but it seems to, it seems to be survivable, so. <laughs> Guess there's no harm in doing it. Okay. Oh, Tiamat died. That wasn't too bad. This game rolls a shifter now. Um, my cloak is still the willpower one, but I could probably lose a willpower. Do I care about the this negative? Because she's got a cloak that would give me two more AC. I mean, if I do go to the Shining one, I guess I only lose, like, 7 AC, right? But it's also, like, not the ideal with the uh, Unarmed, because you can't brand up only Wrath Weapon, but it's probably fine. I feel like I totally do that. Uh... Oh, hold up. Hold up a second. I need some fog. In fact, I might just do a Heavenly Storm, because I don't want that guy to, um... Get me with its, uh, whatever it's called. It's foul pestilence breath. Right, well, next level, I guess, of Zot. Uh, oh. No, uh, they kind of started a good light up here for the Servant Slash, but I didn't take, the, take advantage of it when I first could. What have we got? I'll bring these guys back up. I can probably just keep on doing that, bringing guys up slowly. Oh, I hit a limit on shields. I should keep it going. I want to get that all the way to 27 and get myself the barricade title. Um... Okay, I'm going up. 
Uh, oh, he's gonna try and pull up that cursor and then maybe I can lignify when I get upstairs. There we go, I've got it upstairs. I lose a lot of potential lignifying, but I think it's worthwhile when there's not many guys around. Because I don't have any, like, resistance to torment at all, unfortunately. I wonder if there's any unique, I think I got all the unique Arbitor uh, ones, like the Roller of the Past and the... Uh... Whatever it was, Holy Roller or something. Can I natural problem? Hold on, I gotta stop and slash this guy. There we go, now I can go up. They go to Serpent Slash to try and get rid of, there we go, the guy that can send in for Berserk, yeah. Because a lot of these guys would be pretty nasty when sent Berserk. I think I can quite get a read down that. I was hoping I could move the right way that I'd be able to rampage up to the guy at the end, but no. Right, uh, that's not three. I guess I keep it going down and not. be harder to move back here with the tentacle monstrosity, although it doesn't seem to be causing me any issues for whatever reason. And this guy's robust, the little, uh, little electric guy. It's like punching it and punching it and punching it and punching for what, 54 damage? I mean, that's gone up a bit. Tag delay is 0 0.5, but it's uh, definitely round. Oh, more gold dragon armor. I mean, they've found so many gold dragons in this game, and they've actually started dropping the armor. It's not like the early ones they found which weren't dropping their armor for whatever reason. Just random chance, I guess. Uh... A lot of, uh, oof, those guys. I might just try and dig a choke point. I'm hoping this doesn't, don't think this opens down into anywhere. Um, there we go. I've unfortunately slowed, but I think I can find these guys a lot more peacefully now. I have to resist negative. This guy's not too bad. Oh, and of course that guy goes behind me. Um, there's not much I can do to fix that, is there? I might drink a healing... Uh, yeah, I might drink a healing potion. But I think I berserk up here. I hope that's not a bad choice, but it gets rid of both of these guys pretty quick. Oh, how many guys are there? <laughs> no, that was fine. Definitely a ghost moth. I know exactly where it is, too. Do I, I don't think I'll do the full Zod 5. I really am thinking about oh, standard. I'll just take the double take these talismans, although I'm pretty sure I would have noticed if a death would have turned up. Uh... Alright, well, I don't need the enchant whip, but I probably had plenty of those ones. If I wasn't the sort of character that needed them. Oh, Mongol dragons, of course. 
who doesn't want more gold dragons? I feel like gold dragons are too bad, but that's usually, uh, that's when you find them without a moth of wrath around. But there's a moth of wrath around there a bit well, so I might just have to dig into a corner because that should stop them going berserk. Oh, what? That looks like the old Amazon tiles, the Charlton orb. Sure, that was not that good. It means you can't use a shield. Um, I think it boosts your evocations, but it gives you like the slow uh transigations and stuff, like slow blinking, not blinking uh teleport, like being on the orb run does. Uh, okay, let's go down. I will magic map out this level. So we've got hazard trap. We've got an alarm trap on the other side. Well, the alarm trap's the obvious side to go through. Of course, uh, later on, uh, I should get back to the staircase. Alright, well, I've probably pulled out a ton of stuff, so i got to really think about what I'm doing. Let me just go and find some body. I don't think there was any really good stuff, but I guess I grabbed the stuff. The fire this one, right? Which I don't really need, but oh well. Um, I'll grab it anyway. So I've currently got 60 armor class. Uh, there, was a, there was another cloak that I could probably go grab. Um, was it Tiamat's cloak? Was it? Wait, why was I putting that one on now instead of before? Ah. Uh... Wait, oh, because I'm losing resist negative, which is fine if I'm, like, with the shining one or something. Uh, but I'm going to lose a chunk of... Uh, there we go, lost 7 AC. I'm not sure about this. But I'm going to go try extend it with the shining one, I think. Go. Oh, all the way back to the temple, I guess, to get the shining one. Wujin will probably not be happy with me abandoning, which I hopefully I can deal with the wrath. Let's give it a try, see what the wrath is like. I know you get, like, silence sometimes, which is pretty scary. Uh... Gotta run up to this curse scale, I think. Better than trying to run away, because I think the curse scale is faster than me. Alright, so I get more accuracy, but unfortunately I don't get to get the Holy Wrath. Oh, there's another curse going here? Wow. Like that, so he's spamming those ones. Not actually we're immune to the negative energy right now, or even resistant to that one. I mean, I will get the three resistance, just not... Yet, um, who should stop? There we go. Stop reflecting damage back at me at any second. There, all right. The health back for killing these guys doing a bit, although I don't think it's uh, I think it's going to gain melt more power than you like gain a bit more health. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I completely forgot about swapping the god. I was like, wait, why is that not doing damage? I'm not with Wooji anymore. Of course it's not doing damage. Oh, it's Ancient Liches, Dread Liches. Is there multiple ghosts in here? There's Psywith's ghost. 50 damage. What are they? Fobs and Fighter. They only got 180 health. They don't have that much health. There's a Jetty Hex ghost. Gargoyle Earth Elements, this was Iron Shot. I reckon all of that stuff together is pretty overpowering. Was it guarding? I mean, you could probably, like, uh, pop it open, do a teleport, um, and then try and split the creatures up. Might be worthwhile. Get these rings worth swapping now. I still got the Fire and Cold this one with Willpower, which I need the Willpower. Got the resist electric with this poison resist corrosion, which I need all those from this. Alright, yeah, that seems fine. But I could swap out my ammo. I don't need the fire resist anymore, do I? So. 
I don't really know what Amulet would make sense for this character. I mean, I'm fine with my current reflected one, I guess. And it's double take that the, yeah, the Black Knight spotting is in fact uh, disapproved of. And instead of branding my weapon, I don't think I could just like rebrand the bonding. That'd be kind of cool if I could like sanctify the bonding or something. <laughs> instead of polywrathing a weapon, but no. Turn into like the white knight spotting or something. <laughs> or whatever it would turn into. If you made it glow. Oh, this movie you're doing the thing. So it gets slowed and the weapons get brought in, but those are fine. Just sometimes you get slowed, uh, not slowed, you get silenced and the weapons brought in. If you're a character that can't deal with them, then that's a big problem because then you can't teleport out either. You just kind of die. I know Moody and Wrath is really nasty early on, but it seems like it falls off later on, like with this character. I know, I'm always back to the piety. Can I to use- Oh, I can't use it in my divine abilities. Hold up. Uh, shield's about to max out, but I should get some more invocators. I totally forgot that I needed that one. Because I was, uh, yeah, I was with... Woody the whole time, which didn't need any sort of... Any sort of that stuff. Why is that un upset in case I'll explore? It's got to be leading to a little altar, I imagine. Probably like a Kiku altar or something. Or Eurydel now altar. What am I getting? Um, air magic? I might get vice. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Well, it's something, I guess. It's free. I guess. That's the best I can say about it. Anyway, let's find an up staircase that leads somewhere. Oh yeah, it's a Kiku also. No surprises there. Right, well, one more level to corrupt and I'm almost maxed out with my piety. So this isn't too bad. Oh, I don't care about this guy's distortion. I should be absolutely fine in the abyss because I've got the shining ones. I get health and magic back every time I kill something. <laughs> Yeah, that's a brand weapon. Uh, fake uh, doesn't tell me any weapons. I carry any weapons. Can't blast my fist. That's so sad. Hold these guys back a bit because I want to charge up so them get that regen going. How good am I? I'm one percent failure with the divine shield, so I can start doing that one if I need to now. Um, it says it won't give a lot of shields. Oh, uh, from um, Narvator Barricade, which is exactly what I want to be. To be that invocation is going to start going up faster now that I'm not trading another skill at the same time. Hey, these guys don't know how to open doors. I guess the guy in front didn't know how to open doors. None of these actually look that tough. Yeah, that's basic skeleton dudes. I don't think I'd be allowed to cast the Dreadful Rod, which is the spell I just picked up. I really don't think, uh... I got what approved. Did I actually see a treasure trove with this character? So I saw Hell, Abyss, Pandemonium, Ziggurat. I don't see any treasure troves on that list, alright. Since I've seen all these demon weapons, it's like, do I need to jump one up to get in? Because I have only a jump weapon. But no, not with this character. I think my last character needed, like, a demon trident, but then never found a demon trident. Should be the crypt or not the crypt. Um, I actually need to fire this. Should be the tomb around here somewhere. It's the quickest way to kill this guy. I guess I just give a punch again. 
Spotted together quickly because I had the Kakarot Demon next week, possibly giving me mutations. You know what, I might as well put on Divine Shields here. Uh, I don't actually think the Dancing weapons are too tough, so I probably didn't really need to put it on. Uh... Hey, there was a crypt entrance. I uh, passed it by as I was auto exploring. It doesn't seem to really be guarded by much. All right, well, I guess it's time for Pandemonium, right? Should probably drop a few things outside of Pandemonium. Like, uh, I guess I could drop the Black Black Knight's Black Knight's body. It feels like a shame. It's so much more armor class than what I'm wearing, but I really can't do it. Uh, I got the Regen Amulet, right? Guess I dropped the Slaying. I really do need all these for this. Um. Polymoth's not useful anymore. Oh, visibility's not useful anymore. All right, I think that's plenty of inventory space. Let's uh, put on the Divine Shield and head into Pandemonium, see what we've got. I don't think my Cleansing Flame's quite there yet. Oh, it's like 11% failure. It's also not going to have that much power on it. I also got the resistance. It's the cold resistance I'm short of, and I think I might be able to swap some stuff to get that. Oh, magic field subdued, okay. That's almost only the pandemonium lot. I might just keep on moving. This level didn't have a rune on it, so there's no point of me cracking that open. Well, it might be the demonic rune, but eh, probably not. Alright, well, uh, there's no reason to stop me going to the next level. I don't really... I guess I need the electrification for doing Tomb, right? So I might as well build up a few of those ones. Okay, this is fine. Does this Wujian Barbs do damage now? I'll war off before I go to test it. I, apparently the, that bug got fixed because that was like a bug that reported the Wujian Wrath Barbs wasn't doing any damage for whatever reason. I guess no one, like, uh, thought to, uh, like, move under Wujian Wrath, or maybe just didn't get reported before. That Okay, it can drain my magic, which is probably fine. Could they get into a corridor? Oh, silence. Um, I'll try to get into an actual corridor without needing to dig. Oh, unfortunately, uh, your game crashed. Guess I'll look at the crash log, see what that's all about. Okay. Uh. We're saying, like, where it crashed. That this is not making... Oh, cert failed. Sure. I feel, like, really mangled up. Process command. Well, that doesn't really tell me a lot about exactly what that was doing when it crashed, but sure. I was just kind of, like, fighting normally. I didn't think I did anything special, but I guess I'm... Back to the start of this pandemonium level. Hopefully it's not like a reoccurring thing. Hopefully that was a... Uh, some sort of weird edge case. Because if it keeps on crashing, we could be in trouble. Although it looks like it can leave this level. Ooh. I hit by the mark again. Uh... Feel a little bit of fog. Yeah. Might get all good with the clothing flame. Not really, but I'll still do it a little bit. Ooh, that was a bit of torment, I think, hitting me. So the pandemonium lord, it's a big melee one. I'll teleport out for now, but I'll probably be back. Um find it. Oh, it's still marked, am I? Just a melee one, right? I think I can find it. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. Pull these guys back a little bit. Because I am doing a bit of rampaging up, which makes sense with this character, because I uh, get the region every time I do that. Oh, I gotta, gotta dig into the wall. Should I try to reduce the lighter side of that guy? Ow. Okay, I was almost needing a, like a healing potion there to make up for some of that torment that hit me.
I try, uh, no, I won't try to move with these barbs until I've killed everything. Barbs don't need to be lasting very long, so I never get to test them. Maybe that's why, um, why no one else had reported that bug, because you don't tend to move when you're fighting all the creatures around you. Right, well, I can get to the next level. My shield value is beginning to get up. It's buffed up to 40 when I've got the divine shield on. Uh... Right, a final level. I can get... Well, just more strength, I think. Just hit people even harder. Yeah, I mean, 50... Uh... 56 damage is alright. Uh, definitely still get the invocation. I'm just trying to think of like what skills this character does want to get. I don't think I've had too many problems with like maxing out the skills I want to get though. Shiny one characters don't generally. Uh, I'm coming slowly from drained health, is that? That's not going to be a problem in Pandemonium. That's going to be a problem when I get to hell. But it's basically harmless in Pandemonium. I mean, how often do you get your max health drained? Right, not that often. You can usually recover from it just fine. I, I think I took a little bit of damage. I don't, I don't know if that was from the bombs or not. Oh. Oh, it's okay. I'm just very glad to flame on these guys a couple of times. Just because it's oh, there's more of them. I'm not going to get a chance to heal up here, am I? Silence, well, that's fine. I don't need to dump down a, well, cleansing flame or divine shield or anything there. Hey, this way out. Alright, next level, what have we got here? There's a, hey, the magical rune, that's one that needs to call resist, which I don't quite have. I might just be able to make up for it with a resistance potion or something. How am I going with, like, haste points and stuff? I didn't really check on that before I went to the extent, and I just presumed it would be okay. Oh, 13 haste? Yeah, I mean, that, uh, that will be okay. I imagine. Because I didn't, I haven't done, like, uh, Zolt 5 yet, so I didn't use any of the taste points doing that one or anything. Okay, I got pushed back by something. Set on fire. I'm thinking we're gonna clear some of these guys. They're just getting quite a few of them. Oh. I hope I don't get like silenced up when I'm doing something important like fighting a pandemonium lot. Okay. Let's pop the resistance potion. Might pop a haste potion as well. Do you have the rampage to get up to the pandemonium lord? Um Hopefully that's good enough, because I know sometimes you get uh, pushed away and stuff. Although well, the thing the Pandemonium Lord actually blinks away is actually what happens. No, that was completely fine. Although they didn't do that much. I mean, they pull a Vortex, but that's about it. This time round. Right, well, that's my first Pandemonium room, right? And I left the slide points because I didn't want to worry about, like, mutations and stuff from that one. Oh, hey, glowing runes. Speaking of mutations and stuff... Well, I guess a magic map. Um, I need to head down to try and avoid these guys. Let's get out the angel. They can sometimes help you avoid the mutations as well. In fact, a couple of these angel dudes. Oh, it's actually been a little while since I've done a shiny wedding set. I'm gonna remember all the all the little tricks. The angels to try and avoid. The, oh, no, I didn't avoid the mutations then. I got a genetic defect or something. A 
go down this way. It doesn't really matter. Oh, that's not a good time to be silenced. Oh, that's really not a good time to be silenced. Oh, come on, Woojin. Uh, Woojin knows uh, exactly when to silence me, I guess. Feel weaker. Retreat back a little around this corner. They're silenced. Hey, there we go. Not like a silence, so I can uh, collecting flames of these guys if I want to. I might just actually teleport out of here and try to recover from all that silence that managed to do me in. Oh, minor scrolls. I gotta... Do I reset that one right now? Probably not, but like... It's almost bad enough that I should. What happened to me now? Um, Internet defects, I, I don't know, maybe a Venomous Barb? That would be too bad if it was a Venomous Barb they just got. Ooh. Charge up, because I want to get the, there we go, get rid of the Tormentors. But I think I just took something else. I have great genetic defects, they got minus potions. Oh, uh, one of those is probably new. It's hard to even tell what's new at this point. It got so many mutations. Right, but no leg. Uh, I'll put on my divine shield because I'm about to get surrounded by stuff. Try and cleanse some of these eyeballs. So uh, ones that give me frail that I'm kind of worried about. All right, there we go. That did the trick. I hope that didn't anger the shiny one if I blew that one up and didn't. Um, yeah, because I guess I wasn't the one that put the inner flame on the enemy, so the shiny one's a bit more forgiving, but it's still a bit of a worry. All right, let's go to the next level. Um, I'm actually going to try and reset the mutations like right now because I don't want the minus uh, scrolls. Hey, it's gone. Excellent. I see a pandemonium blood. It's got chain lightning, dispel dead, crystal spear. It's got some decent stuff on it. Alright, I do have the resist electric though, and I think I yeah, I'm pretty good at blocking the crystal spears. Uh, I mean, this is basically a uh, way to the next level. I should probably go take it. All right. Anything I want to drop? Probably not really. I'm just going to go yeah, turn around go straight back into Pandemonium. Ooh, there's a demonic root on this level. Excellent. Let me go track that one down. I don't think I like know where it is, but I do know it's on this level. In fact, this looks like, kind of like a boss chamber. It could be in here somewhere. Oh no, it's just one of the... This is like one of the, like, the mini ones that looks kind of like a boss chamber. Like That one looks like the boss chamber from the glowing level. But it's not. It's just a little mini room. Decorative room. Designed to confuse you, I think. Okay. I think I'm on the exact opposite side of the boss chamber here. Oh, is this one where it's going to matter? Like, oh, it's one of matters where I don't have any range attacks right now. This could be a problem. Uh, I really don't. I mean, I can dig with the one digging, but I don't have that many of those left either. All right. That's probably fine. I should just need like two mods of digging or something to sort this out. Uh.
Clancy's guys, because that means I can get rid of the, the Quark Six without them being able to do much to me. Are that Tom are a bit closer? Come on, there we go, that's better. Oh, it can't get to me and I can't get to it. Um, got a wad of acid. Wow, this is not actually working that well. Um, I'm gonna start a teleport. Another time enter in here. Yeah, then there was like a tell feed to go with it. So let's go back to that place. Oh, it's, it's a long way to travel, I think. Uh, yeah, the top's up here. Good. Right, the top just can't actually get out of there because they're trapped behind, uh... They're trapped behind the lava, I think, and I could put on a fly rig and I might have to, uh... I'm just going to get a bit closer to me. Ow! I might need a bit of healing. If it's just the top edge, like, it's not too bad, but... Those are some other guys that can be... Oh, like the pandemonium lot. Got blink bolt. Okay, I might do a okay, healing potion. Put a divine shield, and then start a teleport. Cause I'm severely tormented right now. Uh, gonna head back this way. Right. Well, the bad pandemonium blood should be too bad now that. I got a little bit of health. Like, sure, I just standard like it's fiery wreath or whatever, but that's not a big problem. And it's blinking around and she gets me like a bunch of regen as well, which is kind of nice. Oh, where's my flight ring? So this one's flight, this one's flight. And he... Specific one I want to put on. I mean, I guess I can lose the resistant electric now. I know the pandemonium lot's dead. Right, there we go. Now I can go put back on uh, the resistant electric, I guess. And there should be the rune back behind one of these little areas. The side, that's it. Oh, and also a mutation potion. Alright, I'll check out the other side. There's usually like a little bit of loot. That's a demon trident or whatever. It's not like this character is going to make a sudden switch to weapons over there. 24 skill already in the unarmed. Speaking of skill, I'm going to have to start thinking of something else to get. Uh, I might get the fighting up to 24. And I might get the unarmed up to 27. Now that the invocations is uh, getting out to a decent value. Right, next level. Whoa. I'm not ready for Glorix vlog, so I'm going to start the teleport because I don't have all my... Um... Yeah, I mean, I actually moderately wounded him. I was kind of lucky there. But I didn't have all my angels out, so it was not going to be a winning battle for me. Well, unless I got particularly lucky and he spammed all the wrong abilities, which sometimes you do get lucky like that in this game, and uh, an enemy that's usually bad is just useless. I should have the Divine Shield on, I think, because the Executioners can actually do some pretty solid melee damage. Alright, well, I know that uh, Galoric Slug is right behind that door. Bring out the angels. There he is. I'll bring out another angel. There we go. Uh, and he's dead. Excellent. That's what always happens when you get angels around him. He just dies before you really get a chance to do much. It's exactly what you want because this torment will absolutely slaughter you. I happen to know where all the portals off this level are, because I magic mapped the area around me for some reason. 
After I lost reset my mutations. Oh, well, I might know where the portals are, but I don't know how to get into the area with the portals. I mean, it's pretty obvious now, because there's only really one spot it could be. Any of these portals work, I'll just take this one. Doesn't really matter which, so which runes do I have left? I've got the fiery rune left, and that's it, apparently, for this character. Oh, get to the top enter as fast as possible. There we go. You know, the region is actually still pretty useful in pandemonium because I do like uh, run up to guys and then it keeps me nice and healthy instead of having to do the whole game of oh, good, this is the fiery level. That's exactly what I want. Instead of having to do the whole game of like uh, waiting around, having creatures coming along, killing them, waiting around trying to get your health back, having more stuff coming along. So instead of doing that whole game, I can just rampage towards creatures, get a bunch of regen, and then get up to full health before anything comes along. Really good. Uh, oh, as a next like boss that I've ended up right next to. Oh, that's me damaged enough. Let's get out of here. Especially with the minus fire resistance and stuff that I've been given. This kind of just puts me straight back where I was. Oh, I've lost my regen. I'm going to have to wait manually to get that one back. Which means that Sarah Bob is probably going to be Kelsey again, unfortunately. By the time we get back to where he is. Oh, how do I even get back to where he is? Yeah, this is the boss where you often end up using a ton of teleport scrolls. Um, because you like uh, wound him, teleport out, heal up, wound him again. Oh, the gloves and cold resistance. I got the gloves and strands, so they're like plus four. Uh, I might have used for these gloves and cold resistance and Sardar? No, not Tartar, it's Cosidus. We'll see. Oh, marked. There he is. Not exactly a surprise. Um, I don't have a lot of like range options right now, which is a bit of a problem. Can I get him with an acid at least? Oh, he's absolutely slaughtering me. I could have problems here. I don't know if I can just like surround him and. Angels and hope they deal with him before he does a firestorm. I feel like that's a pretty questionable plan, but I mean, I can give it a try. It's not much lost in giving it a try. Maybe just a bit of piety, but they'll be back in no time. Huh. I have to teleport out, but I did an actual reasonable chunk of damage to him. If I repeat that process. Yeah, okay, how do we get some regen here? Oh, uh, do I, I don't have like an ammo to regen or something I do. I'm not wearing it though, and I have to get to full health again. Alright. I gotta get my magic points back at least. Where is he? He's probably going back inside. That's where he usually goes. Oh, I'm out of party. Alright, well, fair enough, I guess. There we go. The angels did the trick. I think that's probably the first time we're, like, really seriously taking him out with angels. Because he, he usually just blows them up with firestorms, so I usually don't worry too much. I don't care about the hand axe. Um, our staff, especially not a staff of necromancy. We've got a. Oh, plus two gloves of five strength. I've got plus uh, four gloves of four strength. No, my gloves are probably better. Like, uh. 
Yeah, I mean, those give one more strength, but they lose two armor class. I don't think that's worthwhile. Got a better cloak of willpower if I need one. Or at least an equally good one. Oh, manual beavocations. That's the skill I might actually need. Alright, well, I'm done with this level. I'm actually done with the whole of Pandemonium. I might as well just, uh, at least I'll double check that. I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, I am. I'm just gonna like, go. Oh, come on. That's not the right spot for the auto explore, but I'll just go like auto explore, I guess, at the moment. But I've probably seen most of the portals already. Also, I should be keeping an eye out for shields. I haven't been doing a very good job of that. See if there's any more tower shields. I don't think there are. My current one's actually pretty bad. Um. Just even spot on, knowing for having some big shields occasionally. Yeah, that means this level's got nothing. I'm just going to the next one. Oh, magic returns to its normal vibrancy? I mean, that actually got rid of a mutation, so that's nice. Wait, it's going to make it easier to clean these up when I finish with health. Oh, not health. Finish with pandemonium in the abyss. Shouldn't be too long. It's just whenever I get to the abyss, really. Alright, well, I can check out the gateway of the tank. It's just all oh, next level. Oh, that's bad. Gotta go in here and uh, get rid of some of these guys. Alright, that sort of worked. Should I actually check what this guy has? It just has Blink Bolt, but that's not too bad. Oh, hey, there's a, there's a way out of this level. Uh, at least I think it's not bad. Oh, it berserks me. Wait, how did it do that? Is that oh, it's chaos. Probably fine. I don't realize it had chaos. Anyway, let's get out of there. Plenty of abyss entrances. I'll put on my divine shield, but it's not usually an ambushment as soon as you go into the abyss. Oh yeah, abyss one, that's, that's whatever. I need to get down to abyss three or four, I think, with this character. Right, well that gets me down a level. Don't want to suddenly switch to the like, god, that would make the shiny one angry, but I could probably find shiny one rats. What is it, like, Davis get thrown at you? I know it's really bad if you do Shining Run Wrath like early on, but it's pretty hard to do that. You like you have to switch to an evil god. I guess it's there you could switch through multiple gods, so you can switch from Shining Run to like Okwaru and then oh not Okwaru, they have terrible wrath. So something uh, else and then switch to um an evil god and not realize that you get the Okwaru Wrath or whatever. Not the Okwaru Wrath, the Shining One Wrath, because yeah, the shiny one will still get angry if you go, say, shiny one, Okumaru, and then Kiku. As an example. I think it's just the um, good gods that do that, because... Just so that you don't always, like, switch between, from, uh, through a neutral god, like, Ru or something. Polo doesn't help. Just leads out of here. Gateway. Oh, it's leading out. I guess I'll take this one, but... Hey, it's not really that helpful. I'm just gonna take it and then go straight back in to Pandemonium. I mean, it's a new region, I suppose, so more chances of finding portals, I guess, maybe. It's also really, uh, oh, different region of the abyss. All right. But this is actually really good for building up my regen as well, my rampage regen. That do do anything to me. When I get the minus fire resist, it doesn't even matter. I still want like a maximum fire resist, so whatever. All right, next level. Ooh, okay. That's just a gateway leading down, it doesn't matter. No, uh, out doesn't matter. So maybe if there were more Nequoxics around, I should have taken that, just to like, get away from all the Nequoxics. Oh, hey, another way down? I'm gonna take it. 
I'll take step over it. This is probably as deep as I want to go, because the last levels do get pretty insanely wild. Yeah, I mean, it's another way down, but I'm just gonna... Ooh, there we go. Watch out for that rune. And I have no idea how to get to from where I am. Hey, there we go. That's the transporter. All right. I cleanse these guys because it's uh, it's a decent A and That's all I really need to take those guys out. All right. There we go. Got the abyssal rune. So I think that brings me to nine runes now with this character. Now I'm just gonna. Oh, there we go. They'll do. Get the gateway leading out of here. Oh, the random troll. That must be from when I was last marked in here. I'm gonna pull it in. Anyway, so do I reset these? I get them a uh, minus potions of come from draining soil. Yeah, I should probably should reset these when I go to hell. Minus potions. Actually, what I should do before that is like, I should go to the slime pits. Um, go kill the royal jelly. Yeah, I should reset these properly. Well, that's probably reset anyway. Uh. No, ideally I'd reset the minus first as well. Oh, come on, Dava. I entrusted you to protect me from mutations. You went for the other guy. I mean, I guess that's fair enough. The other guy was colossal or whatever. Gonna get marks, maybe? How did they get on the mark trap without, like, setting it off? I guess someone else set it off, but that one's kind of strange. Oh, it's one of these ones. Uh, sure. I mean, this level, level like, it doesn't have any proper choke points, but it has, like, lots of half choke points. Alright. Let's see if we can pull back the royal jelly to here or something. Because I am alarmed, so, like, I think I got a decent chance of pulling it back. There it is. Okay. See an eyeball behind it? That's fine. I'm gonna get in a couple of angels to try and fill up those two spots. I don't really have, like, Rogue or anything going right now, which is maybe not the best. Um, how well the angels died. I guess I'll just emulate. Ah, <laughs> uh, I might just go up and find another way down. And I'm building up a bit of corrosion there. Oh, finding another way... Oh. A little bit hard to find another way down, but it looks at things... I suppose I can, like, fully, there we go, fully clad that, but now just in case I get ambushed or something. Alright. Oh, the alarm traps pulled everything into where the royal jelly was. No, it makes sense, I guess, because I was looking awfully empty. Uh, that's, oh, the frail. It's fine. I'm gonna lose a little bit of my shining aura just fighting these guys, and so that's sensible enough, because, uh, cleansing these guys is a fairly good way of getting rid of them before they get me too corroded or something, but it looks like I'm not gonna have too many problems here. Or that orb of mayhem. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a rune, which is what I actually came here for. I do care about the gloves of strength. I got better ones. Really don't care about like, these magic regen ambulance or anything. Oh, I do care about the enchant armor. Hold up, that's useful. I think I can still put that on my gold dragon armor. It's tons of things I can put on. I can put on my helmet. I can put on my body. I can put on my gold dragon armor. Yeah, the more of those I can get, the better, I guess, at this point. I think that's all the treasure vaults done, so I should just be able to get uh, straight back out of here. So I've got the minus potions and the spells are less powerful. That's a whatever. I'll reset them anyway because I got the potions of mutation. I'm strong willed and I'm robust. Spells are less powerful, doesn't matter. Hey, that's nice. I mean, I'll take robust. Strong willed power doesn't matter. 
All right. Anyway, let's go to let's go to hell. Huh. I gotta do a bit of fog because I see a curse girl here. Marry the curse girl. Didn't really help against Marty's curse girl, but anyway, I just keep glancing these guys till they're all gone. Can take a bit of piety doing it this way, but I don't think it's too bad because most of these give uh give piety for killing anyway. What the Kagu would even do to me? It just strip my willpower, I think. Oh, most I got a caps lock on. Don't think it's done anything yet, but I don't really want to reset my mutations. There we go, go rid of it. That's the classic shining one entrance to hell, cleansing flame spam. <laughs> Gotta love it. Alright, I gotta decide which hell to do first. I got all the resists apart from one of my core resists, I think. I could do... Oh, Tartarus is gonna be a little unpleasant, but... Well. I could probably still do it. I oh, see, the unarmed's doing just fine. Uh, I could, maybe. I mean, I could stab you for a but then I lose a lot of armor class, right? What's that on the Iron City of Dis? I might start with the Fiery Hell, I think. Gehenna. How many digging I've got? 16. Alright. That's alright. I might put on my shield, although I feel like most of this damage is not physical. I feel like it's mainly just the guy throwing fireballs at me. <laughs> alright. Coffee level is 5 by me. Should probably just run, there we go, rampage up, get a little bit of regen. Oh, save me, rampage up, get a little bit of regen. I can't really mind, but like, there's always no one left on this level. There we go. Down with this level as well. Go towards the edge of the map because that allows me to dig in if I need to, but uh yep, speaking of needing to dig in, I think now's probably a good uh, time as any. With that whole guy that torments coming along. Oh, I don't have any range attacks. I really should have got myself some range attacks, but I don't know. What do I get? I'm probably fine with these skills. I'm the fighting off at like 24 for now, I guess. Um, I thought those reach their targets because they're about to reach their targets. Um, and then I might get some throwing or something. I reckon it's probably worthwhile for me to get something. I can also go pick up a ton of boomerangs because I haven't used them throughout the game. So they should be really built up. I know I've got the javelins on me. Fine as fire resist to me. Oh well. Probably fine. Okay, next level of hell is level five. It's almost close enough to cleansing flame. There we go. Oh, can I rampage the, like, fireball seeds and get, um, get some regen out of it? I hope it's worthwhile, but I think I probably could. I haven't put it on a flight. I mean, I can put it on a flight if I want to. Just don't think I need to in this hell. I probably do in the cold hell, though. Hopefully I have a flight cover to this ring, but I don't remember seeing one of those. Alright, this is fine. Maybe.
except for the fact these guys are all archers. Um, over the like a patch of steer the chaos right now, which is doing who knows what to me. He's plus slow. How fast is this guy again? Not that fast. All right then. Okay, fighting's where I wanted. Adam's maxed out, so I need to get... What was this? Throwing or something? Just gonna get, like, 20 throwing or something so I can throw the <laughs> javelins that I'm carrying around and obstacles. I gotta pick up the boomerangs wherever those ones are. Pretty sure I dropped most of them in a pile, but there's probably still a number of spots I'm gonna have to run around the map to go grab them all. Alright, next level, level 6. This is the last level. Does look like it's got walls I can dig into, unfortunately, though. Uh, can I just, like, get a shortcut here? Do I, how much do I need willpower? I mean, if I play on this one, I lose the kill resist, and I get a flight, and I lose the willpower. It's probably fine. Uh, that was also flight resist corrosion. Nah, let's put on this one, whatever. I think I still have like, uh, oh, four willpower, that's like plenty. Whoo. I got a rampage up to this one. There we go. That was the actual threat of, out of all these group guys. Okay, so what, what am I needing in this battle? I need the angels? I could haste up. I probably should haste up. Just in case. Because you can't escape with a blink here. I don't think things go wrong in here. I think that's about all there is to this fight. Just angels and... Haste? <laughs> Maybe some bite? I probably got some of that like around as well. Oh, there's more guys. That's fine. So we got oh more guys. It doesn't really matter. I've got a book with like scalps and be like a polar vortex. I wear heavy armor, so what spells could I even get? I'm not sure if it's worth getting any spells. As this character. I really no, nah, I don't think I will. I think I can go pure melee. Just bash everyone or punch everyone. Oh, there's the boss. Let's bring the haste. Oh. Oh, there's a little summoned, guys. Um, didn't really get a chance to uh, bring out the angels. I should have been a bit more careful here. Oh, now we can bring them out. No, I actually want to get rid of all my magic points because I do want to save a few of those actually for doing collecting flames. But that's fine. I've got points of magic points. Oh, maybe? Maybe got points of magic points? Let me just double check. Yeah, I picked them up. Good. Oh, why can't I, why can't I get out of here? Huh? Oh, it's an up staircase. That's why I was looking for a down staircase, but it's an up staircase. All right, well, I get out of here. Um, actually, you know what? I could probably do tomb just fine. So I might go to that. Double check that I got the lignification and attraction. So I got twelve lignification, eleven attraction. Yeah, that's fine. It's gonna be the, the classic shining one method. Don't actually use the flight ring anymore. Might as well uh, swap back. I mean, having a little bit of intelligence is not necessarily bad because the uh, guys in here do sometimes like to drain that a bit. Alright. Uh, surely I don't lose a uh, pine in here. Oh, there we go. There it comes back. I just noticed that like my shining aura was like less shiny than normal and shrunk in radius.
no, no, don't send the foul pestilence. Unfortunately, I, I never found a death talisman, so I mean, that's half the reason why I picked up the shining one. But it also means I shouldn't stand on that foul pestilence. Uh, how to do the fog. Right, because I'd stop some of those guys being able to affect me. And then, it's a nice range. Like the, the range you can see people over the fog is perfectly lined up for the landing flame, which is definitely something that I like. All right, where's the way down? Oh, there's a trap in front of it, isn't there? It's a, the alarm trap doesn't matter. Uh, they'll just pull on whatever is in this level. There's probably nothing left. Yeah, there we go. So, do I want to buff up? i buff up for the haste on before I go down. And a spell of cleansing, that's looking pretty good. So there's a few more guys. Here's basic mummies. Unfortunately, there won't be a lot of rampaging, seeing I'm spending most of my time lignified, right? So I'm not going to be able to get my rampage healing, unfortunately. I mean, I guess when I'm just exploring, like, the little half-done levels, uh, like, right now, it's so good having Rampage here, like, especially to try and make up for some of those torment death curses. Alright. So just one, oh wait, hold on, this is the part where I like try and teleport myself to the other side of the level. Oh, first try. That's nice. And now I'm just going to clear out these guys. I should be able to go downstairs. Uh... So much foul pestilence, I mean. Wow, huh? Shut up, I've got something. So I can either put that on my barding, my tower shield, my helmet. I might put it on the barding. I feel like barding's the least likely to find a replacement for. Alright. What buffs do I want? I want some haste. I'll start the attraction and let's go down. Uh, this side's better. There's a dispersal trap, but that's probably fine. Oh, this side's gonna get yeah, a net trap, so I'll just head along this way. Oh, hold up. Hold up. I should have started. I should probably lignify myself. This is just gonna have to do the spot. Okay. Remaining reasonably healthy. Gotta keep an eye on my tree status, which is fine at the moment. I don't think I'm attracting people anymore. Um, oh, you know what? I'll start attracting people again. Tree's getting low. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Trees are uh, worn off. I'm going to have to drink some magic as well, but I'll just put on my tree, then I'll uh, drink a magic, I think. Uh, I actually pop out a little bit of fog, see if I can stop some of these guys affecting me. Ooh. <sighs> Feeling a little wounded. I might try a healing potion, see if that uh, barely touched my health. Oh, my health is actually going down, although I'm no longer a tree, which means... I can blink. Uh, might do another blink. 
Yeah, there we go. Go back up. Okay. Let's right, so heal up. Repeat that process. We'll stop the haste. Let's go down. That's probably an okay spot to be, so I'll just lignify myself and start the whole attraction process going again. Oh, I don't have my divine shield on. That's probably how tough the problem was. I didn't have my shield uh, buffed up. Uh... Right, there's hardly anyone left on this level. It's just the uh, last few guys. Um, like, it did buff my shield before I went down the level. It's just a war off, I think, probably through. Hey, this is my Ziggurat. Is that a Hand of the Alchemist or something? If it is, I probably don't really need it. A Stomp Talisman? Oh, no, it's a Ponderous Hat. So it slows me down, but it gives me willpower into magic points. I've already got the Blast Theory Helmet. So like, maybe? There we go. Uh, the helmet of the invisible is like no, not even better. <laughs> oh my god, because it's not enchanted enough. If it was plus two, it might be worth using. I don't need manual shields. I'll pick it up anyway. Gloves for holding, okay. Regen gloves. Still got the plus four gloves with strands. How much am I willing to lose in terms of strands and stuff to get, uh, Regen says resist electric, resist poison, evasion. Mine's got corrosion on it. Resist corrosion. Um, which I know in some of the branches I'm not going to need the resist corrosion. So let's pick that one up. Ah, hold up. That's minus strength plus thing. I probably don't need it. Doesn't have the resist corrosion. So to another one I've got on me. All right, so that's uh that's that's the tomb done. Oh, don't know how to get out of here. Fair enough. It's showing how to get out of here. I've got three more hells to go. Right. Cosine is I city of just Tartarus. Got a little bit of throwing. Okay. Do I have a resist electric or resist cold? I do not. Thinking about Tartarus, but like. The gloves fix the cold resist. At the cost of like four. Oh, it's probably fine. I'll put the bottom of the cost of like four AC or something. It's not the best. Oh, I can't fly. All right, do I have a... What do I have with fly? It's fly, fire, resist, willpower. I think I might swap out the cold resist one here because the gloves should make up for that. Yeah, so got four willpower. That looks perfectly fine. And now we can, like, rampage over washer and self, which is exactly what I want to be able to do. It's gotta go down. I'm happy to dig into this wall if I need to, but none of these guys like torment or anything, so like not that important yet. Okay, I might pull this guy back, but I don't have the best. Oh, it's about as good as I can do for pulling it up, I guess. I didn't have the best corner or anything to pull it around. Alright, well, time to go to level 4. I see the staircase. Oh. Whew. Is this diggable? Please be diggable. Diggable, okay. Um, I think I just read a blinking to here. Alright, I think this is under control. There we go. I can sit in here with my divine shield on and kill shrikes. 
Fortunately, I don't really have any regen right now, so it's going to make, make it a little bit harder to keep my health up, but... Right, at least I got the reflection to reflect half their missiles back at them. Gotta keep an eye on that divine shield though, that's uh, kind of the only thing protecting me from the strikes right now. Try to rampage this guy. All right, they should be ready to head on down. Oh, looks like I'm hiked by to find a find the rest of this level. There's probably nothing le really left. No, there wasn't really. All right, well, let's go down to level five. Sure. Back up because they can see a guy they can torment. There we go, that should get it out of view. Uh, it's not a perfect choke point, but it will probably work just the same as a perfect choke point. Yeah, nothing's figured out that it can kind of get round behind me and uh, start me getting surrounded. Alright, where's the staircase? There it is. So I can go down to level 6. So... That's all right. I'm gonna have to... I think I, if I blink back... Oh, that didn't work. If I... Oh, I'm gonna teleport. Oh, not what I meant to read. I think if I blink back here... I can have to cancel that teleport, unfortunately. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to end up teleporting out of here. I think I might need to dig like a little bit deeper, because that polar vortex is going to be a problem otherwise. But I think that's actually killing a lot of these strikes for me, which is really nice. All right, I'm very ready to go down. This should take me to the last level. This does not look the, too bad. I mean, I can see, like, one, uh, one guy that can torment me, but it looks like the level's, like, not that open, so I should be able to stay away from... I right, it's one of, like, the hexagonal or whatever this is. Octagonal, I don't know what it is. Levels, okay. Oh, there's more of these ice feeds. Try to cleanse again. Right. This game we're walking back. Just thought I don't attract like any other unwanted attention. Uh, we'll put on divine shield, but a single strike just not too bad. I can't dig any of these walls, unfortunately, which makes it hard to get choke points. Um, but if you could dig the walls, you could kind of just go straight for the boss, because you could just dig straight through the center of the level. So I can see why uh, it's not one of, one, one of the ones you could dig through. Oh, hey. Seven of Hell. Alright, I'll get up to it. I don't think the ice of the is too bad. I mean, it summons in a few dragons, which can be nasty if you're not massively physically capable character. But this character is very much physically capable character. That might need a fog. That fog might not be working. Um, you know what? I'm gonna start teleporting. I'm just hoping it doesn't put me somewhere bad. Oh, that's not too bad.
that lets me regen. Okay, there's another one of these ice feeds. I'll just get kind of close to this one. I think there's a, this pandemonium, not pandemonium, well, this hell lord you just surround with angels so they kind of die eventually. At least that's a plan. They're kind of just like a big melee guy that can also throw a little bit of frost around. But their main problem is that they're surrounded by these ice fiends all the time. Oh, there we go. Throwing's competitive now, so I can get fighting and armor and invocations. Doesn't really matter the order, just gotta get them. <laughs> Oh, more ice fiends, alright. But I do the two without the max notifications, which is maybe not the smartest thing, but it seemed to work out alright. I knew all that time when I got fairly low in health and I had to uh, like, use a couple of blinking scrolls, but... Oh, ow. Right, well I know where the boss is, but I'd rather have some health back before I go fight them. In fact, can I just... I can't have portation. There he is. Should have brought all the angels ahead of time, but that's fine. Oh, he's absolutely bashing them up. What's he got? He doesn't have an axe, does he? It does have an axe. Well, that kind of ruins my uh, bring out angels plan. I couldn't, I couldn't even find the room. <laughs> Alright, child number, that's worth the using. So I can use that on my. I'll use it on my body again. Oh, what? Oh, there's multiple of them. Alright, well, I'll take two of them. Back up to 53 armor. So I think I had swapped out some stuff when I went in here to make me a bit tougher. I can swap that back. What did I swap out? I swapped out my gloves. Yeah, I should go back to the strength one. Um. Slide or willpower, or is there something else I want to get here? Hold up, do we have that? That was evasion. I do need to resist corrosion though. Do we have that big, beefy, um, hold up, I've used that one for resist corrosion. Oh. I know there's like a sleigh ring somewhere, I might go grab that. Uh, right? There it is. But then, uh, what is it? I haven't done Tartarus yet. The yeah, Iron Destiny probably needs this one. I'll drop the Cobra this ones. I don't need those ones anymore. Take off the, like, the Fire this Flight one. Yeah, that's fine for the Iron City of Death. So it brings my damage up to uh, 70, which is pretty good. 71. Alright, well, I think I might go to the Iron City of Death and then I'll do Tartarus last. Tundra should be terrible. It's just I don't have that much of the way range takes. Oh, that's my accidental character dump there. Alright. Well. First level's free. Second level was pretty easy. I might as well do some magic mapping in here. Alright, this has got Hell Sentinels, this is a little bit more serious. Um, why Divine Shield? I cleared a few of these guys. You usually lose piety doing this hell that I've got in without quite full piety. Man, this character seems to be having a little bit of trouble giving the piety up. I mean, not much trouble, but... What did I expect? Uh, I don't think a haste. Tormentor. That's not going to work. Am I actually... I just flick up here. Alright, I think these guys can be emulated. I got the fire just still. So I can grab them, well, get them with a lightning rod? There we go, they're beginning to burn, that's doing something. 
Uh, I don't know if I can bring out a fog to get rid of that tormentor. These walls are diggable. Maybe I'll try the fog, but oh, it's not spreading. Grab a temporary these guys, but I'm not sure it's going to do that much to get rid of the Tormentor. Ah, it's out of acid range. Okay, if I move up a little bit, I can at least get into acid range. Hey, that's a bit better. Alright, because I've got my Divine Shield on. It's great. Most of these guys are just big iron golems, which should be easy enough to take out as long as they got my divine shield on. I don't have any regen, well, like a little bit of regen, but it's not much, which could be a problem as well. Oh, that's alright. I don't want those liches sitting there. Um, I can bring... Oh, it's my last fog? Uh -huh. Well, I better be taking out these liches then. That sure is one pile of liches. Um, I'll throw an acid through them, but... Well, I might just throw it to someone from a different angle. I might do a teleport. I mean, this is an okay spot that I've got going at the moment. I gave it a health back. Maybe I didn't need to do the teleport. That did not really improve things, but I can at least do a... I can do my last fog, and then... Cleansing Flame, these guys. There we go. Oh, how did I get paralyzed? My willpower that lacking? It does. I just do one with Cleansing Flame. Oh, I didn't kill these. I don't do another one. Oh, and another one. Okay. Right, so I actually maybe do need a tiny bit more. Although, I've still got three points already... Just lacking on the willpower, but it's enough where I can get paralyzed, which is dangerous. I don't know if that's worth swapping anything to actually fix that, though. I don't think so. Alright, let's go down, because the ledgers aren't uncommon in here, thankfully. But I should try and make my way down as fast as possible. Alright, that's that level done. So this is last level. I got my health a little bit drained, but that's fine. I can go kill any number of guys. I should get it back. That's fine. I think I might just cleanse some of these guys. <laughs> More cleansing than I was hoping it would take. Okay. I don't think I can even bring out angels anymore with my piety. But that's fine. I should be able to... I don't have a phantom mirror, do I, for fighting this boss. What did I get? I got a sack of spiders. I got a gels grab a tambourine. I mean, that's alright. Oh, she. Divine Shield, of course. That's where all my party's going, like, uh, well, probably mainly Cleansing Flame, but then some is going to the Divine Shield. I think I just gotta go this way to get into the center. I wanna ignore as much of this level as possible and just head straight for the boss. Ooh. Of course, clearing, like, a wide enough, uh, little piece through the level that... I don't have to worry about things trying to sneak up behind me as I'm fighting the boss. Oh, there we go. Shield's gone. I don't think the eye golds are worth any party, unfortunately. Um, I know some of these guys are. Like, yeah, a lot of things in here just aren't worth party, which is why you have to get low. 
But I know there's like the skeletal guys, some of the skeletal guys, whatever they call the ancient champions, the tough skeletal ones, are worth piety, and that kind of kind of vaguely keeps your party up. Yeah, I mean, I can see three of them here all lining up to give me piety. I think I'll do, uh, do like, uh, photo boss chamber from both sides, just to make sure that there's not a bunch of creatures waiting to sneak up behind me like these guys or anything. What is this guy's chance of hitting me? It can't be that high. About 12% chance of hitting me? Ah, yeah. I just remember, I've only got shield, I don't have any evasion, so I guess that's what's happening. Um, I'll put on might, I guess, and I'll put on haste. I don't think it's just a summon. My focus on the real guy here. I'm taking him out pretty quick. Alright, don't care about robes. Uh, don't care about the Amble of the Acrobat. I think this character started with like an Amble of the Acrobat and four decks or something with that. This one, no, that might be like my last character. Uh, this character doesn't feel like they really want that much decks. Alright, let's get out of here. So I've got the rune. There's only one more rune to go, and that's the Tartarus one. Which probably should have the willpower for that one instead of, uh... I do need the poison resist. Okay, it's still the slay, I guess. Slay was nice, but hey. Sometimes you don't get to have nice things, right? Uh, my skills look fine. Let's just go in. Oh, I probably should have maybe got myself some boomerangs. Oh, well, it's fine. Yeah, I'm going to be spending a lot of time slowed, I think, for all the spell wrestlers, because I did not get, uh, well, I've got statue for, but I really don't know if it's worthwhile. I lose a ton of armor class, that's better. Do I actually have any cancellation? I've got, got life event. I don't think that works in here. I've got four cancellation in case I need to cancel up howls from Doomhounds or something. Oh, <laughs> well, this is that case. I need to worry about that one. Alright, well, I've got tons of magic map. I'm going to just throw them out whenever I need them, I think. I get my max health too drained, but I also do just kind of want to go straight down, I think. The guy starts petrifying me, it's fine. I can always cancel it. Oh, you know what, I'm just going down. I don't want to deal with that guy right now, so I can, uh... Go Revelations, where do I need to go? Uh, not too far. And the fighting I did do kind of brought back my max health. There we go. Why is my armor class down? Wasn't it... No, it's up. It's up, okay. It was like on the low 50s before, now it's uh, high 50s. Was that the Amulet of Vitality? You know what, I probably should have that one on. <laughs> it's funny just revealing that one though with the scroll of uh, revelations. It's when I was trying to magic and map out the level. I'm gonna roll, uh, roll into this guy's um, foul pestilence, unfortunately. You know what, I could actually throw a javelin at this guy. Not actually doing that much damage. I guess I'll just end up rolling into its foul pestilence anyway. Oh. Okay. Bring out a couple of angels because I want this lich to like paralyze me and then just to die while I'm paralyzed or something. It is in fact an Amulet of Vitality, so I can draw my basic regen one. I like how the shiny one doesn't mind the Amulet of Vitality now because I didn't used to like it. Right, well, if I lose a reflection, that's whatever. Um, still got fire and everything. That's a uh, Dex, the invisible. That's a uh, cold resist, resist corrosion, the invisible. Resist light, resist poison, resist corrosion, ice. Uh... Hold up. That was worth a thought. So I've got the similar one here, right? 
So this one's minus int instead of minus slang. I think this one's actually better. Because I get back my slang and the resist to whatever. Um, doesn't really matter with those at the moment. They just kind of swap around and I don't think you know them are really needed in here. I am held. Why cancel it? I mean, I can easily just get held again, which could be a problem. I did, in fact, just get held again. Um, I've been slowed as well, but it's not too bad. It's kind of collapsing spam, spam, flame spam while I still can. While I still got the piety. Uh, oh, I usually bring out angels here. This could be a problem. I actually don't want to go to do against Irish King all this time round. Um, maybe we shouldn't have been so keen on the calanding flame spam. Might just clear out a bit more of this level. Oh, I should. Oh, wait, I can't bring out the angel. Uh, yeah, there's some paralysis that I was worried about. Hey, the shield's better than mine, right? Tower shield protection? I haven't found any good tower shields, at least not that I saw. At least I hope I didn't miss out on any. So there we go. That's a bit more armor class. 62 armor class, not bad. Not bad at all. I don't like how there's a silent race here. Um, just for a flash of resist negative. I mean, Shining was taking care of the resist negative, at least most of it. I think it's still just sitting on two or whatever. All right. So what I should do is I should just like exclude oh so much area to exclude, but I guess I should just exclude up the central area and then go like auto explore or something. Hey, this is hard rate. That's uh that's fairly harmless if we get in there, because that's not guarded by a ton of creatures or anything. Uh, that is a how. I think it's probably fine. Yeah, how doesn't matter much when there's not quite as many creatures around, although I guess these guys are beginning to build up again. Oh, fine, I'll go into that guy's foul pestilence. Hey, Eric Giggle, okay, so I can actually bring out how many of these angels? Three, four, I think I round a piety. Uh, I think I actually lignify here so that I don't get tormented. Alright, just let the angels mop up the floor. I mean, they got absolutely decimated by that one guy, but that's fine. I can not exclude this area. And now I should... Oh, there's another one. The... So that's the middles. All right. One of these will have the root in it, but clearly not the ones that I've looked at. It's Maybe this one's got like 50% chance. There we go. Got myself a root. And that's all my root, so I can at some stage just get off this level and just go win, I think. I got the tile I want, so that's good. I got all the runes I want. Yeah, let's just go win. I'm not going to die. Go to Zot 5. I haven't cleared Zot 5, though, have I? All right. In fact, I haven't really cleared this at all, because I got the alarm trap in here, and that I uh, pulled out a bunch of stuff, so I was worried about, like, orbs of fire sitting in here and getting mutations off them and stuff. But I've saved, like, plenty of haste. Like, I've got 10 haste. More than I usually have at this point in the game, so... I got haste up. Oh, the, oh, it took away my, uh, took away my health. Uh, down one fire with this, but I'll probably be fine with that. Right, the idea was that I set off that, um, set off that mark and then I just pull some stuff back. But if I just haste up.
That should give me a pretty good attack speed. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, somewhere around there. Yeah, that seems to be doing the trick. Is that a real torment or is it summoned? Summoned by something. Alright, I'll bring one of these guys up. It doesn't seem to be summoned by one of these ones, unfortunately. Fair anyway, it's probably gone by now, so I don't think I need to worry about it too much. Oh, maybe not, though, because I actually have the Amulet of Vitality, so I regen pretty quick. Alright. Oh, right. Still got health. Maybe not the best idea of getting myself surrounded there, but that's... Oh. I was going to say that's fine, but then that dude just decided to step in front, but it is fine. Alright, well, this is uh, clearly the side to go with. The other one had a bunch of traps. And it's not much in here, because, like, there's been two um, alarm traps worth of uh, stuff pulled out. Almost a third without a alarm trap in there. Anyway, I've got the title I want. Um, I can just go grab this orb and get out of here, I think. And I should just tell them to automatically go to dungeon level zero. I can't, uh, don't think I need to carefully pass out a way or anything. I got, uh, Vak Lavax goes, uh, not goes, the Pandemonium Lord. They don't even look that bad. They got a bit of, like, uh, evasion, but I'm a tiny one character. I'm sure I can deal with that. Oh, these things are getting summoned in, though. I've been on the tougher side. And I've got Endless Blinking, I believe. Like, I've got, yeah, seven Blinking. I mean, it's not quite Endless, but it's enough. Can I go? Oh, what's going on there? It seems to have stopped for some reason. Alright, well, I'm in the dungeon, so that's a good sign, and I'm making some pretty quick progress. I don't want to find a fellow angel, I'm gonna leave that one be. Oh, not an angel. I mean, kinda had to fight this one because I can't get it with a fear or anything. Oh, well. I guess I'll beat it up. This feels wrong beating it up as a shining one motion, but oh, it's a way out. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna experiment with a mutation potion before I get out of here. <laughs> See if I can improve these mutations. I have sharp fingernails. I don't even know what I'm going for. I'm just experimenting. A large glowing feed head to day potential. That sounds good. Let's get out of here. I'll probably my divine shield. Why not? Buff up that shield value. <laughs> that was a fun character. I don't know if punching was quite optimal. Um, I never really got the forms. Like, I had statue form for a while. Until I got the Black Knight spotting, which I think I might have dropped at some stage. And then, of course, they eventually went with the Shining one, so I couldn't use the Black Knight spotting. But no, that was a good game. I got all 15 runes. Took almost 4 hours. That's really quick for a 15 rune game. But I was a melee character, so they tend to be a lot quicker during the extended games. Well, any games. I don't know. I never, yeah, I never really got the shifting, but uh, that was a fun character nonetheless. I might finish up around here, I think. I don't think it's quite enough time to start another character today. But let's go see if anyone's streaming Dungeon Crawl right now. They can go raid. There is me and no one else. Well, that doesn't help. Okay, who can I raid this? I might go raid uh, Blaze today. He's streaming... Wait, Hades 2? Hades has a second game? I've heard of, like, the first one. Man, I've got a, a couple of friends that, like, play that all the time, but... There's a number two now, apparently? I'm definitely gonna go, go raid Blaze in that case. 